For example, <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's how he wants to start. That's how I start, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. raw. So, yeah. Dan. Yes. I'm very excited about this. Why? As you know, because I was just saying to you off air, I was just saying to him off air, one of the reasons I started this podcast is because me and Dan started speaking around about, it was about the, 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 the Wiley thing. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, wasn't yeah. About, it was about the Wiley thing, but it was around Black Around, the, yeah, yeah, around every, all of that topic, because it yeah. all just happened, it like, all sort of kind meshed of into together. one, and, and it was yeah. very, yeah, it was just all simultaneous, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, like, you are a rapper from North London that yeah. I, I got to know and, yeah. and love. Yeah. I do. I, I you, do, you're, you're, too, one my, my, you're one of my best pals. Yeah, yeah. And I'm really glad to have you on here. Yeah, me too. And um, glad to be here. we've had, like I said, this podcast is really between him, Benny V, and, uh, you know, I've got to give a shout-out to Ilmatica, who's, gonna hopefully, Ilmatica. who's hopefully going to be on here. But we had some amazing conversations around the whole Black Lives Matter thing, you know, around, you know, my shit with my, you know, former employers, um, as I've probably mentioned every single fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah, but you, you might as well, you know. Well, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. And that's why I named the podcast this, because there was, a, I just felt like everyone, like, it felt like the world fucking hated me. <laughs> so, so <laughs> like, and even though I knew it didn't, I just didn't, I felt good about what I did, but also there was so much negative shit to come with it. It mm. just, it just sort of felt, you know, I just felt hated. But, but we had some amazing conversations and, you know, I've always really loved your openness and your willingness to listen and understand other yeah. sides. And I've really enjoyed learning about, you know, your culture um, he's, he's Jewish, by the way, if you haven't worked it out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need to say, start off by saying he's Dave Chappelle type, you know, pretty, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you know, because, <laughs> like, he's my mate, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've, got, I've got my token Jewish friend. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's it, I've got, I got my token black friend. <laughs> you got a token friend. And we're at peace, the world is at peace! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we, we, we talked about the Wiley thing. Mm. Um, and... Yeah, it, it it was definitely problematic, some of the things he was saying. Oh, yeah. However, I had difficulty understanding why, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. I've got to be honest. Yeah, of course. And, you know, I think there were a lot of, you know, sort of, you know, people, you know, black people, let's have it, let's have it right. They were a little bit sort of like, a, a, a little bit confused. It's not, this is not going to be a black versus Jews thing. But I was just saying that they were just a little bit confused by the whole thing. And then, you know, people were bringing up, you know, Oh, he's, you know, Professor Griff, who, who I mentioned in actually in Pedro Bar's uh, um, uh, um, podcast yesterday. Um, you know, you know, he was sort of like a member of Public Enemy. He got sort yeah. of cast out because he was saying some, you know, crazy shit. But then it's like some of the stuff he was saying might have been a bit true. And it's like, you know, it's all this sort of stuff. But there's still a lot I've got to learn about that. Yeah. And, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. and this is what I love about this it, because this whole experience has been a massive learning curve for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember saying to you, like, you know, that as much as obviously there's certain, you know, I guess stereotypes or, you know, tropes or whether it's like the Willie, you know, the, the sort of like the, the look or, you know, the, 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 the you know, the, the, these sort of ideas that there's like control and power and, you know, yeah. sort of like, you know, like, you know, you guys are like moving chess pieces around the, the world, like, you know, like you control everything and or, or, or all these kind of crazy, stupid ideas that people have. And then there's like certain truths, and then it's like it felt like if you said certain truths, it was you were associated with being, you know, sort of against the Jews. And then it was like, well, no, I just, I just want to have a conversation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. it was, And it was just like, and I was really pleased when speaking to you and Benny in particular, and, and I got a shout out Verity as well, Verity Raphael. Um, you know, they really helped me understand why these things are problematic, and and I really learned a lot. And then now we fast forward, you know, three years later. And we got fucking, you know, he shall not be named, but Kanye. <laughs> we got to name, <laughs> yeah, name, name him. We got to name him. We got the Kanye thing, you know, sort of that's blown up. And then he, he said certain things. And, um, you know, <laughs> Def Con 3. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know I mean? yeah. It's just yeah, like yeah. crazy or whatever. Kanye's been on a, a mad one He's been even on a bit before. Of a mad this is just yeah, an extension of yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. been a pretty crazy. I don't think he's crazy. I mean, I've said this time and time again. I think he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a you know, he's a professional troll. 
He knows how to get an audience to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, College Dropout, you know, and, and, and other albums he's done are genius. Now, I've got friends of mine who are probably going to be screaming at me saying this. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, you know, whatever, whatever. All right, fair enough. I get it. But I just, you know, my, in my videos on the channel, I did sort of want to explore certain ideas and sort of try and ask some questions and learn some shit. I know you watch the videos. We've mm -hmm. been having conversation after yeah. conversation. And... Um, like I said, I just want to thank you for being so just open. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And just allowing yeah, me yeah. to have the, allow, allowing us to have the conversation. Of course. So, what do you, I, don't, I don't know how to really. I don't really know what. To, <laughs> 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 I don't really know what to ask you, but I guess I suppose. What would you want as a Jewish man? What would you want people out there to know or? or understand about your community in, in that regard, in regards to, you know, speaking about your community, mm -hmm. if you're not a Jew. If yeah, you're not yeah, Jewish, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I guess the levels, and when I say levels, yeah, there's so many of them. Yeah. It all depends on what, because, again, that's why we have to talk about stereotypes and yeah, tropes. Right. Like, that's a thing. Right. Ultimately, there are, many different tiers yeah. of observance yeah. when it comes to Judaism. Right. And it's very much like a pyramid. Right. And there are some that are very, very close and in touch with their faith, and mm. there are some that aren't. Mm. The reasons being is because we're a diaspora, we're a massive spread amount of people that essentially come from all over the globe because we've generated from thousands and thousands of thousands of years. Mm ancestors and we've been expelled from multiple countries yeah, yeah, multiple multiple countries yeah, really and this is what i'm always thinking when i do comparisons like this and this is why i'd like to talk to you as a black person about yeah. it because ultimately we shouldn't be having this uh discourse of we've had it worse misunderstanding ultimately we we've shared the same experiences mm. Mm. so i think I always feel like there's certain people in the black community or there's certain people in the, the Asian, uh, East, East Asian uh, community mm. that I admire because they should understand. Mm, mm -hmm. They should know. They should know exactly what it feels like. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's where I get confused with people who make certain comments yeah. who have maybe direct ties mm. to slavery. Yeah, 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 okay? yeah. So we've been slaves yeah. in almost every situation that we've yeah, ever yeah, been in. Yeah, in we've been yeah. enslaved by the Romans. Yeah. We've been enslaved by the Spanish. Yeah. By the Egyptians. Yeah. Endless to count. Oh, and even worse, the Germans. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, yeah. Well, and, yeah. like, that was the worst of them all. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah, yeah. Um, not to say that I don't get along with some German people now. Yeah, I've yeah, got German colleagues. Yeah. It's not a conversation that we necessarily have. Yeah. But I'm not going to go and sit there and blame them for something that maybe their ancestors did or didn't do. 100%. It's not worth it. We 100%. live in a different generation. We live 100%. in a different time. What's mm, the point? Mm. But ultimately, we should be able to come to an understanding of, okay, well, we are a people. We are not the same as other people. Yeah. And we've been mistreated because we are of these kinds of people. Yeah. And now, why don't we just be like, okay, well, we've all gone through the same stuff. Yeah. Let's just be like, let's try and make the world a better place. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's much easier to do mm. than question every time. Oh, but, oh, but, oh, but why is this person there? And why am I not here? And yeah. the, 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 the reason why maybe these tropes and things get put to light and always get questioned and always like, okay, but why do Jews rule the world? Why are we in these positions of power? Yeah. Is because it's all a matter of events that happened at specific periods in right. time. That's okay. how I see it yeah. anyway. So let's break it down. Yeah. So I'm saying like, from what I understand, again, please, to all of the Jews that I'm representing here, whoever may happen to watch this, yeah. um, please, please, I'm just coming from everything that I've known and read over time. I don't have anything to the top of my head. Yeah. You know, as you would like me to have it. There's better researchers and better people who are advocating, and I'm going to shout them out at some point yeah, sure, sure. in this discussion. But I'm just giving, again, 
the facts of what I see, mm. not really facts, my opinions, what mm. I see, and what I have experienced. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, ultimately, from what I remember reading, in around the Hollywood era mm. of when it just started to get big, so this is around between uh, the ending of the Holocaust to the independence of Israel was around the time in America where Hollywood started to bang, yeah, started yeah, to yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah. And so did the music industry yeah. in terms of black representation, yeah. R&B. Again, this was also the times of Elvis. Like, yeah. This is another big, huge mm. R&B boost. Mm. And um, well, Elvis was a hero to most. Er- Elvis, <laughs> not funny. Er- Elvis is a hero to most. You know but he why? Never meant shit to me. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Do you know bro, why? Because <laughs> look, he did. He did champion a sound, and there's many divided opinions on that. Yeah. But to the Jews, in fact, yeah. Elvis um, was a big hero. He lived, uh, before he lived in his giant mansion towards mm. the end of his life, he was living in, like, I think, uh, is either a house or an apartment complex, I'm not sure. And above him was living a, a rabbi and his entire family, Jewish family. He was what is known mm. as their Shabbos Goy. Now, Shabbos Goy. Shabbos Goy. I'm gonna, Shabbos Goy. I'm, I'm going to expect you. I'm going to explain to you All what right, Shabbos, Shabbos Goy is. Yeah, right, Shabbos Goy. I'm going to give you another interesting a uh, person uh, there might I can't remember there's another I don't know if it was Frank Sinatra and I might be wrong mm. um, but there's some other pretty famous Shabbos scores you've got to go and look right, at okay, Martin, okay. but I'm going to give you two so Elvis was one yeah and he was um, literally, again, what a Shabbos Goy does mm. is basically during the Sabbath, yeah. Shabbat, the, the Friday sundown yeah. to the um, Saturday sun uh, sundown, yeah. the we're not allowed to use electricity. Right. We're not allowed to ignite anything. We're yeah. not allowed to bring objects in and out of a, um, a house. Right. You can bring objects in and out of the room that you're in. Or like if you're in a house, yeah. I can bring a box yeah. from my bedroom to the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't bring a box outside of my house yeah. into my house. Is that considered work? It's considered work. Right. Exactly. Got you, got you, got you. It's considered you're not work. You're supposed to work on the Sabbath. Not right, supposed yeah. to work on the Sabbath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Elvis would basically turn on and off lights, mm. Bring things, do things, exactly the same thing. Oh, right. So you would sort of like almost be like with COVID, you had people home helping. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean exactly. Like, like help, essentially yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another big, big Shabbos Goy, and you're going to be like, whoa. Yeah, okay, go on. Is our very, very, very dear Christopher Wallace. Christopher Wallace. Biggie oh, Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Yes. He worked at a synagogue around the age of 16. What? As a Shabbos Goy. So he would turn on and off the lights of the synagogue yeah. when he needed to yeah. and just do like anything that yeah. a Jewish person could Couldn't not do. do on the Sabbath. Right, so you act is... as the hands and just sort of work or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah. Got you. So, so this is like, again, why I have so much respect mm. for certain people in mm. certain places mm. who've been because I know what they've done and what they've contributed right. to helping us. Got you. So I can't be mad at every person that says everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I'm up, if you want to know how I really feel about the Wiley and the Kanye situation and the Ice Cube situation because he also was, if you heard Kanye, what he said, he said, mm. I have to give uh, credit to Cube mm. for starting this discussion, blah, right. blah, blah. So back in, I think it was either around the time of Wiley or maybe a bit before, Ice Cube posted a, a, a mural on mm. his Instagram, mm. which was a very typical, classic, tropey mural of a bunch of big-nosed businessmen in suits playing games, board games and dice, whatever. Mm. You can look it up. Mm. Um, and it's as it, you know, they're controlling. They're, mm. they're, the whole point is they're, the game. The world is the game. They're playing it. Da, da, da. Yeah. Ice Cube claims to have not understand what he was posting when he posted it. Yeah. And he claims that he was just talking about the bigger media and the, you know, the, the kind of, I think what people get twisted up with is like Rupert Murdoch yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, is Rupert Murdoch Jewish? I, 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 I still don't know. I can't even remember. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. If he is uh, not a good Jew. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah. That's what I would, how I would see mm. it. Um, Harvey Weinstein, yeah, not good, you, oh, right? So shit, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's yeah, loads of them that, that aren't good yeah, for, for yeah, obvious reasons, yeah, yeah, and that's like yeah. you have to clear them out for what I they mean, what Woody, they've done. Woody Allen, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's clear ones for what they've done. Yeah, you can celebrate what they did, mm. but what they what they've done to kind of be disrespected. Mm. That's it. I yeah. mean, like again, cancel culture is a whole other topic. Yeah, but 
some people deserve it, some people don't. 100%. That's what I think. Right, okay. You can't cancel everyone, no. but you can cancel some for necessary reasons. Yeah, yeah. Hold tight Prince Andrew. I think, <laughs> you, should be, I think you should be fully cancelled, right? I don't even yeah. know how he was. I mean, he had, he had to be at his mum's funeral. Yeah, though, you know what I mean, course, like, it was yeah. like you know, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit but weird. Watching. To get stripped of certain things, yeah, he didn't have, yeah, because you yeah. can see he didn't have after yeah, 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 like, yeah, you know, yeah, Princess yeah, Anne yeah, and Prince no, Charles no, no, had. No. He didn't have none of that. Prince Edward that needed, had, like, that needed to go. That all went. Like, yeah, that yeah, needed yeah, to go yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, let's talk about Wiley's situation. Okay. So Wiley comes from Bowie Three. Right. Okay. Yeah. His connection to, uh, again, his ancestors mm -hmm. might only be through what he's told, mm -hmm. okay? I don't know. I, I assume mm -hmm. that in his uh, lifetime, in his career, mm -hmm. he's been able to afford to go back to his roots, yeah. just like many artists have. Yeah. Uh, Lethal Bizzle, uh, Stormzy, yeah. uh, many have gone back to their roots mm -hmm. and just rediscovered mm -hmm. what they are. Skepta, gone mm -hmm. chief of you know, Nigeria now, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm saying that a lot of these people mm -hmm. have gone back to explore their roots. Mm -hmm. I can only say that the comments being made by Wiley are mm. from a specific experience. Mm, 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 he's mm. had an experience where he's happened to have a Jewish manager. Yeah. None of us were there in the room, mm -hmm. but if this person has man been managing him for the larger portion of his career, mm -hmm. it's safe to say that the majority of Wiley's career has cool. been an outstanding yeah. success. Yeah, yeah, cool. Why? Yeah. Because he pioneered a brand new genre yeah. that was just completely disregarded. Mm -hmm. um, British MCs did not want to be... Um, American rappers they didn't want to conform no so Wiley, t Wiley and Dizzy yeah. they took it forward mm. and they said yeah we're gonna uh, we're gonna bring this to light we're gonna tell everyone what it's like to be on our streets yeah to, and for, for, for the Americans to have their counterpart yeah and understand what it's like we have the same kind of streets London isn't just London town cup yeah, of tea yeah, crumpets yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. there's more to that 100% and I appreciated that that's why again I can relate to the underdog. Yeah, we that's the the whole ge genesis of it all is that we're we're the underdogs that mm. we're you know we're not we're being disregarded for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. So it's relatable. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm gonna like that mm -hmm. music. It mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but he's obviously come from a specifically bad experience with mm -hmm. set manager, mm -hmm. and then has all of a sudden maybe been told things by other people or had certain discussions with other people within or around his circle and mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And that's how the words leaked out of his mouth and became what they were, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, again, this is all from a bad experience. I personally don't believe that it's right to hate somebody mm -hmm. unless they've specifically done something to you mm -hmm. that is so um, treacherous and backstabbing mm -hmm. to the point where it's like, okay, I can't trust you anymore. Mm, 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 but because I don't know Wiley personally, yeah. I can't hate him, yeah. but I can say that I just, uh, it upsets me. Yeah, what yeah, he yeah. said upsets me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was your fan. Yeah. I was a fan of you. Yeah. Like the things that you uh, inspired, mm. especially me wanting to rap and, and like, my, my, it, it, I, I've listened to rap over the years, mm. but I never thought to myself as a kid, oh yeah, I want to be, a, I want to do rap. I want right, to be a rapper. Yeah. yeah. It was only really at the peak, 2014, when Grime was resurging after having gone into that pop window, mm -hmm. whereas Wiley and Skepta and Dizzy, they all went into the pop realm. Oh, yeah. And they all got into that, you know, just so they can get into the clubs and get heard, yeah. right? Because it mattered at that time, yeah, right? Yeah. That was when 2014, when That's Not Me came out, mm. I wanted to be a, I wanted to be an MC. Right, got that it. was it, that was yeah. sure. Yeah. My, my most favourite artist, biggest inspiration, one of, JME. I right, love okay. it. I yeah, love yeah, him, yeah. honestly. And he was on a podcast with ZZ Mills, mm. and he and ZZ was asking him about Wiley's comments. Yeah, and he said that you know he didn't understand mm. certain things would be offensive to the Jewish community. Yeah, because that's I'll be honest, that's that's the perspective. Well, that's that you're well, I, I, yeah, because I was like, yeah. I didn't get what he said. He just said like you know, well, yeah, he just sort of said oh like these Jewish he said something like you know these Jewish managers will call the police on you or something like that yeah. when you know there's a problem or whatever but they're, they're happy to make you you know be your slave or something like it was something yeah, that, well, they, just yeah. obviously making money yeah, right? yeah that's yeah. the point like, yeah, when the money's yeah, involved yeah. when the money's involved everyone's yeah. okay yeah that's so it's the, again it's that old that's trope that's the trope of, it's the yeah, trope yeah, it's the trope it yeah. keeps getting recycled yeah. that's it can it, there'll be calm around it but mm. it's not it's not always about that there's yeah. obviously got to be 
an, uh, something that was contentious, yeah. something that was causing a dispute. Like, yeah, if, that, if that's what happened, yeah. then that's the reason why people might get upset and things might blow up. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, coming from a place of not understanding mm. is makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I would rather sit here and chat with you mm -hmm. and open up a discussion mm. and challenge mm. and like sit in a room, even sit in a room with people that are inherently anti-Semitic yeah. and have a discussion with them and just 100%. try and talk to them about 100%. it. Now there's a person that does that incredibly well. Mm. His name is Rudy Rochman. Okay. He, he is somebody that just is extremely, probably the most circulated right. person who's doing it. Yeah. There's another person called um, Yosef Haddad yeah. who talks about... Um, what it's like being an Arab um, in Israel and, mm. you know, uh, because obviously it then all circulates into the discussion of Israel-Palestine, mm -hmm. right? So he's just talking about, you know, the comparisons between, um, you know, what it's like, what the media portrays it, it like being um, an Arab or um, a Jordanian or an Iranian or, or a Syrian mm. uh, around the... Um, surrounding borders, you know, the, the Gaza Strip, the, the West Bank, um, yeah. you know, all the, all the authorities, mm. right? Mm. He's explaining that, it, you know, don't believe everything you read. Yeah. It's not all just like that. Yeah, there yeah. are Arabs that live peacefully in Israel. They mm. get their rights. They're in, go they're in government. Mm. They do have voices. Mm. But it's a, matter of, it's a matter of, like, control mm. in the sense that we're not trying to control the world. No. We're trying to prevent terrorism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. We are currently, as we are speaking, are in the midst of the beginning of the World Cup mm. in Qatar. Mm -hmm. Controversial place to have it. Why mm. would... I don't know why... It said, like, and he said it was a regret anyway. Yeah, that's it. He's but, a what, fuck, but what that's they had right. to build stadiums yeah. to get that done. Yeah. Like, they shouldn't have done it there. They yeah. should have had... Could have had a big, bigger marketing campaign. Yeah, yeah. And I've never seen anybody less excited for a World Cup yeah. than this year. Yeah, right. It's like it's been crazy. And you silly. know what can't you do in Qatar? You can't be gay. Yeah. You can't drink beer. Mm -hmm. You can't um, do anything. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. You literally you have to behave mm -hmm. in order to go and see these games. If mm -hmm. you're a fan, you mm -hmm. really have to live by the rules, mm -hmm. or you will risk prison or even death. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. In Israel, that doesn't happen. No, no. You could host a World Cup in yeah. Israel, and there's yeah. plenty of stadiums to play at that you could have a good time, and it mm. would be great, and you can go in certain areas and drink and, mm. and do whatever you like. Mm. It's fine. But they didn't bribe, they didn't bribe Sir Blatter, though, that's why. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but also, yeah, yeah. it's politically controversial yeah. to do that, mm. so it's never going to happen. Mm. But, you know, um, it's all a matter of where you are, where you've been educated, what what's going on mm. in in your environment mm -hmm. to have known or learned about Jews? Mm. Now, people from New York, people from North London or some surrounding London areas, uh, certain areas of Manchester and Leeds, and uh, y you know they might have uh, been around Jews. They might have grown up around Jews. There's a lot of Jews in South America. Mm. There's a lot of Jews. Um, in Golders Green, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, cool. and Hendon, don't forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the community. Yeah, you know? Stoke Newington, Stoke Newington, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Golders, um, uh, yeah, Stafford Hill, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now it's good that you talk about that because in all of these different areas, mm. you have, like I said, the different tiers mm. of Jews. So now let's kind of break it down for you. Yeah. We got secular Jews, right? Who are Jews that have either been or not been mm. educated about their faith, and in a way that they've either been to a Jewish school, yeah, or they've been to something that's called Cheda. Right, a Cheda is a school that doesn't. It takes place on a Sunday usually, right? And it's outside of a nine to five, uh, five day a week Jewish education. Got it, yeah. Uh, either you know learning the Bible or or um, you know, going to a Jewish school and having like Jewish education mm. is basically for Jews who don't get that mm. during their time to go and learn about whatever uh, Parsha, which is like the chapter um, of the of the Torah, of the, Torah. the Bible right, right, yeah. that um, is relevant to that point in time. Right, so okay. we're always every time we're having discussions with rabbis or we're going to hear someone speak or. Um, we're going to the synagogue and we're hearing something. It's always talking about what's currently going on mm -hmm. in the Bible right now. Mm -hmm. And I assume that that's what goes on in a church. Yeah. That's what goes on in a mosque. Yeah. And that's what goes on in any other temple yeah, of yeah, yeah. worship. Yeah. Right. So it sounds like Sunday school almost. Yeah. Exactly. So wait, Bill Hader. 
He's, yeah. a, he's the actor. Is he that a, Jewish? I don't know. Is it, I, I know. I'm, it's, yeah, it's just so many things. You said that word now, and I'm just like, oh, because you heard hate. Yeah, yeah, hate. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. don't know. Maybe I'm being uh, a diff, but I'm I'm not, just, I'm I don't not, know. I'm not 100 percent sure. No, that's cool. Cool. Adam Sandler is. Though, yeah, we're talking yeah. Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah, yeah. And Adam Sandler, thank God for him because yeah. he championed and pushed out what it meant to be an American Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you never know? really kind of hit, like, you know, hit it. You know yeah, what I mean? He's, yeah. He was proud. You know, not saying even other Jews aren't proud, but I'm no. just saying that he, he was, was... proud. Yeah, he was yeah, outwardly. Clearly, yeah, clearly out, 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 outwardly yeah. proud. Yeah, 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 And that's what we needed. Like, we 100%. needed someone like him. 100%. Um, then, okay, so, and the secular Jews, they are ones that might not observe every single tradition or custom that's necessary. So, I don't know, might not keep kosher. Right. They might okay. not keep the Sabbath. Right. They might not go to synagogue unless it's necessary. Right, okay. Uh, they might, you know, again, just live their lives as regular people. Yeah. Some of them consider themselves to be atheist or agnostic. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it, it, again, it all depends on, you know, what you believe in, what you like, what you dislike. Again, each to their own. 100%. But, you know, over time, I've very much learned to be more in touch with my faith in yeah. a way that's comfortable for me. Yeah, no, and I've the always best, that. the best, best thing about Judaism mm -hmm. is that there's like really no pressure. Right, 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 right. Unless you're in those higher tiers. Right. So when you're in the kind of mid tiers of mm. Judaism, mm -hmm. and for example, I've got many friends that are religious, mm -hmm. but they won't look at me, who is someone that doesn't keep to everything that they keep, but right. I keep some things. Right, okay. They won't, put their nose they won't frown upon me they won't put their nose on me they won't be like oh well you're not as good as us you're not do you know not like that mm. because they just appreciate me for the fact that I am Jewish yeah and that I'm coming to celebrate whatever it is the occasion mm. with mm. them or even just to talk to them and discuss with them things mm. and again be open minded learn talk have agreements, disagreements, whatever. Yeah. No one's going to change each other's minds. Yeah. It's just a nice discussion and it is what it is. 100%. So that's brilliant, right? Like, that's what I feel in other religions sometimes you don't get. Mm. There might be some judgment. Like, there's a hunt, there's a big, big ne necessity of conversion mm. in Christianity and Islam. Mm. They want you to be a part of them because they want more. They need more. Mm. We obviously would love you if you were interested and really, really desired to become Jewish. Mm -hmm. But it's either that you're doing so for uh, the fact that you've, you know, again, it depends. Some people consider a Jewish person marrying a non-Jewish person to be right. Mm -hmm. Some people consider it to be not right. Right. And I believe that, you know, it's okay in the namesake of love, like mm -hmm. your soul is attached to your soulmate and whoever it is is who it is. But obviously if this person isn't willing to commit to your faith... Mm -hmm then you know it you might have to it might depend on so many things and yeah. certain things but ultimately um it's possible it happens yeah. there are conversions that happen that way mm. or you have a very very specific reason mm. that you fully believe that this is the faith that you believe in and you will go to the lengths mm. to prove that this is where you are meant to be right okay. so for example there is uh you know chucky right who uh chucky online Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he did an interview for Vice right. with a rapper called Nissim Black. Have you heard of Nissim Black? Uh, no, actually. No, okay, no, no. so Nissim Black used to be, I'm pretty, let me, I hope I get my facts here correct, but um, again, Kosher Dills or Rudy can very much correct me. Um, Nissim was a, uh, your typical gangster rapper yeah. who was in uh, Seattle at the time. Yeah, I'm just looking him up. Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him up. So oh, that, wow, that's, that's a hat. Still a rapper, by the way. So wait, is he he's, he's turned Orthodox Jew? He's Orthodox Jewish. He's got like five kids. Yeah. Beautiful family. So that's spelled N-I-S-S-I-M-B-L-A-C-K. Black. Black. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we yeah. see him. He's, he's like... So he used to be uh, a gangster rapper yeah. in Seattle. Yeah, give him, give him a look. Big, big shout out to Nissan Black. Nissan Black, there you go. You yeah, yeah. Him there. Very, very, very beautiful. Wow, that's a great image, though. Yeah, he, yeah. He still, he looks super gangster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's maintained the image. Like, it's brilliant. Like, yeah, honestly, he's done so well. Like, I love, I, I love the look, man. His music is great. Yeah, okay. He, I'll check um, so he, you know, you need to watch a documentary to get the full 
facts on it because mine, I'm very going to be very blurry on it right now. Yeah, yeah. But he basically felt an affiliation yeah. and the need to be a part of the Jewish faith. Right. Okay. So he did it. He went to Lentz, he proved it, and he mm. did that. But he has gone to the highest tier. Right. So he is now on the very much Hasidic Jewish level. He's on the very, very top. So Hasidic Jew, you know, is what Dave Chappelle jokingly said, the, that dressed like Run DMC? Is that yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. the hat. The hat. And the curls. And the, yeah, the pale. Yeah, okay, so remember, I'm the, just being yeah, no, but I'm, ignorant. I'm here I'm to teach asking. you. Exactly, that's, that's what I'm saying. So Although, the, the sideburns, the payot, yeah. uh, we're instructed in the in the Torah that we're not supposed to, uh, we're supposed to leave these parts of our hair long. You're I right, forgot okay. why. Um, you can add it in in yeah, the comments. comments. Um, but we're supposed to leave the front parts of our hair long. Yeah. We're yeah. not supposed to cut them. Right. Again, that is observed by the highest tier. Got it. The, the Hasidic Jews, if they choose, you know, that's what they do. Again, for the rest of the Jews on the lower tiers, that's their choice. If they want to, they can. Mm. And again, you don't even have to be um, a full top tier, mm. uh, very religious Jew mm. to have to do that. You can yeah. do that at any point. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, he went the full shebang. He did everything. So he, and, he, he did and, the Tory, yeah, he, he his, the t- yeah. I don't know if he was bar mitzvah. He might have done uh, something. I'm not sure. Mm. But pretty much he went through the conversion process, mm. however long it took. Mm. Um, he studied the, the Torah, the Talmud. He studied everything. Mm-hmm. And he basically has made a family. And, you know, in, in the Torah it says, be fruitful and multiply. Right. As it would obviously do yeah. in both testaments. And he has got a beautiful family of about five kids, approximately. Right, right, right? Yeah, yeah. So he he has really proven that yes, the faith matches the soul. Yeah, yeah and that yeah, is exactly yeah, where he belongs, yeah. and that's exactly what to be. And then he changed his entire musical discography right. from gangster rapping in Seattle mm-hmm. to me, uh, messages of positivity, motivation, mm-hmm. spirituality, growth, faith, love, right, all of the good things in the world. Right. Okay. But, so it's like. And, and he's done that as a from from a Jew- Jewish perspective, so to speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. but even a perspective that anyone could relate to. Right, okay. Just anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, interestingly enough, he did a, uh, a collab with Kosher Dills, which is uh, the Hanukkah song part two. Now, the mm. Hanukkah song one is obviously Adam Sandler's one. Right, okay. Super famous, right? right okay. And they did a, they sampled it and they did a part two, right. uh, which was very big uh, last Hanukkah, right? right okay. uh, I don't know if they're going to do something again this year. But, yeah, well, that sounds uh, like a cash cow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could be, right? Now, um, Kosher Deals went viral because he did a uh, Kanye diss, and it went everywhere. You so might have seen recently. it. Recently? Very recently. Well, around the, literally, he got it all ready in time. As soon as the tweet came out, mm. he knew he was going to do it. Mm-hmm. It just came, it mm-hmm. happened, mm-hmm. and he started with it. And he obviously got very mixed reviews right. because Kanye has a much bigger fan base. Yeah, yeah. And that fan base is half of the people who are ignorant, don't understand, not willing to challenge, not willing to learn, mm-hmm. not willing to sit here and have the discussion mm-hmm. because either they are just massive Kanye stands mm-hmm. or... Massive what? Kanye stands. Oh, it's Kanye stands. Yeah, yeah, Kanye yeah, stands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was like another... Yeah, yeah okay. No. Or they just... You know, can't be asked. Yeah. Bigots. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But, you know, it opens up a discussion again. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I am someone who, essentially, I could call myself a Kanye stan. Right, okay. I'm not a stan anymore, Mm -hmm. but I, again, still respect everything that Kanye has contributed to music over the span of his career. You can't. I'm sorry. There's a lot of the Jewish community are voicing very much hate for him Mm, mm. i understand it Mm. i don't have an issue with it because Mm. i understand it comes from a place of pain Mm -hmm. i'm in pain Mm. because it literally came off the cusp of watching his genius documentary yeah watching him and supporting him trying to go through all of this tough turmoil that he's been through in his life yeah which is very very hard yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm thinking like come on man Mm. think about how many jews love you (laughs) think about how many people have bought your shoes Mm. In that community, mm. wearing them all the time, mm. even in Israel, we got them selling mm-hmm. everywhere, mm-hmm. around the world, mm. and then you just drop this. Mm. Now, what my assumption is is like, okay, he's probably had this opinion for a very long time, right, 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 right. and he's just not vocalised it because it's not been time. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. And that's 
very hard because since Wiley and since all of these other things, I very much like some people, especially in the community, maybe, I don't know if a lot of people do, because I know a lot of people that really don't, they just listen to whoever and do whatever. But some of us are very, very careful and very much treading on eggshells mm. with who we listen to nowadays. Right. Why? Because either they blindly support Palestine, mm. either they have an education of why they support Palestine and they might not have all of the two two sides to the story, which a lot of people don't. Yeah. And I, you know, I can't go around my whole life being like, right, I can't listen to this person, can't, can't mm. listen to that person, mm. da 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 what was very difficult was um, J Electronica and Buster Rhymes' latest albums, where there was a lot of heavy mentioning of Louis Farrakhan, and that had a big, 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 you know, shake for Jewish listeners at least. Right, okay. Because, again, it's the same argument. Yeah. All of these people are saying the same thing. I, yeah. I don't even need to repeat, repeat myself at this point. It's all very much the same tropes, the same things being said. Yeah. By different people. So again, it's about that control and influence. Yeah, and power yeah, thing, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's always what it has been. And mm. every kind of new thing that somebody might say or might challenge mm. will just be like, okay, yeah, but it's just, it just you, you're connecting the same dots mm. around and around mm. and around mm. again, mm. and it's just stuff that we've all heard before. Yeah. But now the problem is, and the reason why um, the Jewish people are getting very, very upset about mm. it. Mm is because it's very much like some causes over time, like I said to you off air, that have been moderately, moderately more supported. Yeah. yeah. And so you'll get a lot of like, oh, okay, um, you'll say you'll say to your, like during the, the, the very heated time of BLM, you or some other people might say, oh, okay, I see you, all of my white friends on my social media. <laughs> yeah. This is the time for you to speak up and stand up. Yeah. You'll do it to me in person or whatever. Mm. You'll say this, you'll say that. But where are you when we need to go viral? Yeah, where are yeah, you when yeah, we yeah. need to, the message needs to be spread yeah, further? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. So sometimes what will, what people will say is, oh, well, you were there to support BLM. Mm -hmm. You were there to support this. You were there to support that. But when your Jewish friends need you, mm -hmm. you're not there. Right, right. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, your, yeah. Your, your your silence is deafening. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a lot of the the terms that get thrown around. Yeah, unfortunately, it's true. Yeah, and the reason why it happens, the reason why the silence is deafening, yeah, is because some people don't know where to sit. Yeah, politically, mm. and it will always, 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 always circle back to um, Zionism, Judaism, constantly mixing. Right, back okay. And forth between each other. Yeah. So. And, and break down. Sorry, finish the point. I've got a no, couple no, of questions. No, go, go, go. No, because I was saying, I remember you told me the difference between Zionism and. Uh, anti Zionism and anti Semitism. As, as Zion, Zion, so a Zionist is someone that wants. Believes that the state of Israel should exist. That should be. Right, and that's yeah. it. Pretty, Pretty much. much. Right, okay. Pretty much. An anti Zionist is someone that's saying, right, we should just mix it all up again, or it should just not be Jew or Jewish or Israel. Well, anti Semitism. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, so. So a Zionist, a Zionist, but an anti-Zionist, yeah. you know what I'm saying? An anti-Zionist, yeah, they basically believe that the inhabitants of the land of Israel mm. do not rightfully deserve that land. Right, it right, right, theirs, right, 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 right. And that's why you have um, a lot of the black Israelites mm. claiming this because they will say also, yeah, it's our land. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Palestinians and the Jordanians and mm. the Iranians and the Syrians and so on and so forth mm -hmm. saying, no, this is our land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many people, different people around the, those areas are making the same claim? Mm. No one truly can pinpoint where, what things happen in the Bible. But again, you've got to go listen to Rudy and explore, explore further mm. um, on who and where and why all of these things began and how mm -hmm. they happened and how they moved. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in, especially the persecution in Egypt, mm. which is the story essentially of our celebration of Passover, mm. we were um, 
you know, we arguably built or were contributing to building the pyramids. Got you. Right? Yeah. And that people always ask, who built the pyramids? Was yeah, it's aliens. aliens yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no we, people... were, we were partly building yeah, yeah, them because yeah. that's what we were enslaved to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, Moses came along. He said, let my people go. Pharaoh said, no. Moses split the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. He got us all out of there. Mm -hmm. He got God to send 12 plagues mm -hmm. onto, uh, onto the Egyptians Egypt, because yeah. of everything that happened. Yeah. 40 days and 40 nights in the desert yeah. trying to get out. Um, and eventually we made it. And, then, and that was the, 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 the manna from the desert. Yeah. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like a theory that that's magic mushrooms. So you don't even know that. Do you mean? With the, early, with the early morning dew, this food rose up from the ground, didn't it? It was white and they're just picking it and they and they communed with God. Could when be, they ate yeah, it, they yeah. communed with dogs. Yeah. It's like, wait, yeah. they're getting high. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what you said, the burning bush. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. Could very well be. Yeah. That that bush might have been few yeah a few weed plants here and there yeah, yeah. Could, have could have been but again like what do we really know yeah like that's there's so much to it mm. but again the communication comes from within yeah and there were prophets so mm. there were chosen people to uh you know have that communication yeah, 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 yeah. it wasn't all the all the jewish people that were able mm. to mm. um and direct but again we're all direct descendants of abraham isaac uh, Jacob and Moses right okay. all of us right, all okay. of these people the Abrahamic people right okay. the collective is so if you go and do genealogy as mm. a Jewish person mm. the chances are very 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 0.0005% mm. is that you will find like one of your friends might be your very very long distant cousin oh, yeah. because that is just how it might be it might be the same for mm. the black community uh, in, uh. In, in, in ways because it's again it's all like well we all kind of look similar. Mm, mm. Where did we originate from? Where did we come from? Yeah. And maybe that has specific, you know, specification to regions, mm. certain countries in Africa mm. that might not be related to each other, mm, 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 mm. but only within their country itself. Yeah. Got so it. like, that's a possibility. Mm. But yeah, I mean, you know, there's, it's hard to say and distinguish with what actually is and isn't happening mm. today mm. because today people want to believe everything that they're seeing mm. that's portrayed in a certain way because of certain media platforms oh, yeah. and be like, okay, but this is it. This is the version. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily the yeah, version. Yeah. It's yeah. not. And, yeah. you know, again, I can't, say that everything the Israeli government does mm. is amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot yeah. of... But it's pol politics is always like this. Yeah. It's very corrupt, mm. mostly bad. Yeah. But certain people are trying certain things Got and it. it's not easy to find a solution mm. when there's certain forces... And ideally, I don't understand why people just don't want to eradicate terrorism. Yeah. Like, terrorism, if, if that was gone... If we had no terrorists, yeah, things would be a hell of a lot easier. But but some but if I may, like some people see what's happening in that particular part of the world as sort of like an unfair fight, isn't it? It's like they see it that way from the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As it a manipulation. Yeah, it's right? like a manipulation. And well, what you mean? So what you mean that the idea that you know the Palestinians are sort of put upon more? Well, the Palestinian Authority, you know. Um, the, the, the government there mm. is convincing the citizens mm. that the terrorist groups are freedom fighters. Well, one man's terrorist, another man's freedom fighter, isn't it? We all celebrate, yeah. you know, you know, um, I don't know, Nelson Mandela, for example, but he brought right. a power part. You know what I mean? There's like, yeah. you know. But as I'm saying, there, there's controversy to everything. Of course, yeah. So, so realistically, mm. the, okay, 9-11, yeah. right? Right. That, was a terrorist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Straightforward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no debate. Yeah. What was that for? To let the world know, innit? To let the world know what? That America's are vulnerable. Sure. Yeah. But what's that got to do with what they're actually fighting for? Well... They, they're, they're upset with America because they think, again, that America... Yeah, you know what's even bigger, maybe than it's not the IRA or ETA or you know what I mean. Yeah. There's lots of groups like that that do things that are go against law that you know hurt and maim and whatever. I'm not I'm not advocating it. No, I'm just no, saying, of course. 
you know, because there's an agree there's a grievance with that country, you know what yeah. I mean? So they sort of like, well, fuck you, lot. I'm going to blow up this power yeah. plant or whatever it is. And yeah. sometimes they feel more justified. Sometimes it's a bit more sinister, but ultimately it's the same goal. You know yeah. what I mean? If they they feel like they're fighting on behalf of someone. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I think that's it. Like amongst the you know the the Jewish stereotypes and tropes that there are, I'd mm. even say that there's a lot mm. against America. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because America is so um, you know put on the on the western capital and it's the me you know mm. that's where all the media is and where all the big corporations mm. and important mm, mm, things mm, are mm, 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 mm. so you know that's why that the targeting is done there mm, more mm, specifically mm, mm, but mm. then again like does that it, obviously it would then relate to um agreements that uh, america would have with israel mm. based on trading of weapons and 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 so on and so forth like that is probably why, because if America's positioning themselves as an ally, mm-hmm. that becomes threatening because yeah. they have a, they're a superpower. Yeah. So they have they have that kind of cap- capacity to retaliate. Yeah. But again, I don't see the bigger picture. Right. Yeah. I don't see how any of 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 the attack is is going to contribute to any sort of achievement and agreement and whatever but now I just sound like I'm well what 9-11 well no just oh, any, kind any, of attack. any kind of attack that doesn't that the cause just it, that, like it doesn't make sense but, but, like I mean, using children as yeah. human shields yeah. regardless of what kind of child they are yeah. training children to be terrorists yeah like you know child labour so on and so forth mm. it's like what but I mean, it's like, like surely it's got. To be, I'm not again. I'm not defending anything. But I'm just sort of, surely I'm just sort of thinking. Well, it's highlighting a certain issue that they feel that like needs to be kind of brought to attention. Everyone was talking about America's foreign policy at the time, you know, mm. and how they were fucking over this country, that country, the other. And so 9/11 happened, and then all of a sudden, it felt as though, and I could be wrong. It felt as though Americans sort of were like, oh shit, like we don't, we don't, re- people don't really like us that much. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like they just sort of had to sort of like think about what was going on a little bit. And I, I, I don't know if that's true, but. It certainly made some of my friends a bit more, you know, Anglophile. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, oh, fuck, you know, fucking hate my country. You know what I mean? But not just because of a terrorist attack, but just because of, you know, gun laws or whatever it is that yeah. was upsetting them yeah. about it. But um, it was always, my level was traumatic and, and not <laughs> traumatic, sorry. Yeah. Um, it was, it was <laughs> a great, yeah, we'll get on to him in a bit. Um, well, you know, it was a very, um, it was a weird time. And obviously, yeah, you know, but I grew up through, you know, not, not dismissing 9-11. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like, I grew up through, you know, the Brighton bombings. I grew up through, you know, the troubles in Northern Ireland. You know, there was always someone somewhere blowing some shit up because of, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not defending Hamas or anyone like that. Don't don't call me. But, like, you know, it's just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> God, don't call me. Don't call, call, call me. But, like, I just, you know, he just... Um, I just... Well, one of the things I learned is that I was always subject, and again, when talking to you, you opened my eyes that Benny V as well, got shout out Benny again. Yeah, big up. Um, he, he sort of was like, you know, look, you know, Chris, there's certain things that people always say, you know, about us, you know, uh, you know, I've got, I've got a metal detector at my son's school, uh, his kid's school. Yeah. You know, they get bomb threats two or three times a week. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a regular thing at a Jewish school. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think my son's ever going to get a bomb threat at his school. Do you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's never going to happen to him. That's the real deal, man. That's the, you yeah, know, yeah. it's never going to happen. Like, it's just crazy to hear a parent, you know, talk about that it's like what the fuck you know yeah. and it it, it 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 seems strange to me that people have such hate in their heart for you know what, what from many people would, would say well i know you're going to say there's lots of different types of jews but like the most of the jews i know are sort of white and you know what i mean you know look like self or yeah. the other people i know so it's sort of like weird when you have this sort of like hatred it's not weird it's unusual you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. when you have this sort of like you know seemingly this hatred towards a certain group and it just it always confused me um i'm, I'm I mean, I, I, I say it confused me, but I, I understand there's hate everywhere. You know what I mean? I, you know, people are dumb, innit? Do you know what I mean? They'll say stupid things, they'll, they'll do stupid things. You know, I've had to listen to all kinds of stupid tropes about black people. And, you know, it's, again, it's like, it's one of the reasons why I don't, you know, people are going to jump down my throat on this, but it's one of the reasons why I don't watch, you know, I didn't watch The Wire, I didn't watch Top Boy. You know what I mean? And, and like, you know, someone, you know, actually, in regards to The Wire, even, someone was like, Going, oh, you know, Chris, you know, there was black people that were in that, that were detectives, and we were in the, like and the mayor and stuff was black, you know, of the town that the, the, the wire was set in. Yeah. So yeah, that's not the point. I'm just sick of fucking seeing another show with a whole bunch of black fucking drug dealers in it. Do you know what I mean? Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so you know, 
I really did understand that plight. And I'm going to shout out Guy and Guy of Free Cell. Go and check them out. Free Cell. It's a, 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 a two guy act um, from Israel yeah. that I would be working with for the last yeah, you know, sort of two years. And like, you know, I grew up sort of listening to that idea about, you know, Israel kind of like, you know, sort of being this big, powerful American backed force mm. who were like, you know, fucking over these, you know, tiny little brown people, sort of speak. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, 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 you know, there is a significant difference in the size of the armies and weaponry and stuff. Yeah. And, and that sometimes feels a bit unfair, if I'm being honest. But, but then, you know, when I listened to Guy and Guy, the two guys called Guy, hilarious. Um, you know, they told me that they wrote their first DP in a bomb shelter. Like, they heard missiles flying over and, you know, like, it was like, you know, and they're Jewish and they, they would, you know, so it was, it was interesting to hear the other side, do you know what I mean? It was yeah. interesting. And I'd never heard that before. Yeah. I'd never really heard that, that perspective of two Jewish men and what they went through and why their album, or their EP, sounded the way it did because they were like on the ground, it was all like dark and tense and oppressive and then that's what their EP sounds like. Yeah. So, you know, it opened my eyes up to that and then there was, then there was the whole, uh, Bow, Boo. Oh, yeah, Boo, yeah. Boo, Boo, he did that, oh, that the, album, the album yeah, from yeah. Palestine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember you sort of saying, you know, check, and then look, Boo, Bow, you know, no, no hate <laughs> to you, but is it, yeah, please, Boo, is it it's Boo? boo. It's, it's Boo, boo. it's Boo, yeah, yeah. Like, Boo, like yeah, a ghost, yeah, yeah, like yeah, Boo, like Boo. Ghost. I mean, he's actually, um, doing a thing tomorrow in Brick Lane, at, um, Workhouse. That's actually. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, he did this album, and then, there was a, you know, and you know, and he's sort of like, you know, he, I believe he's of Arab, Arab origin, or he has yeah, yeah, Arab he's, or, yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't know. If he's I'm not sure if he's Palestinian. No, no, I but I think he's, you know, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's Arab Muslim, right? So you know, he did this sort of like album for Palestine, and then there was a guy on it who I'd never heard of, called MC Traumatic, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now this guy... You've never heard of Traumatic? I, at, that I, I, at that time, it was the first time I'd heard of him. What? Remember, man, I'm in Perspective Records. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never, I didn't know that commercial shit. Of course, of course. So, <laughs> I never, you know what I mean? Like, no, no hate, no hate. Well, I don't know, fuck it. If you were hating Traumatic, go fuck yourself. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. you know, like, from what I understand, I think it was Benny, Benny that brought it up. Yeah, yeah. And he sort of said, look, you know, this geezer's sort of got some tunes out there. Or maybe he sort of said, I think he's, or if he knows he, that he has tunes. Maybe he hadn't heard him himself. Yeah. But he knows that he has tunes that have sort of anti-Semitic kind of like Yeah, but the, guy, the guy's anti-everything, mate. Right. So he's, he's uh, uh, was he a uh, multidimensional entity or some shit like that? Oh, is that's that what he described himself as? A, yeah, 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 yeah. So he gets out of being a dickhead by yeah, sort yeah, of Yeah, like yeah, but he's from, he's from the valleys, you know. He's from, oh, he's, he's Welsh. Welsh. He's Welsh. So what about tropes about Welsh people then? Yeah, mate? Uh, yeah no, no, he's, but he's Eminem them all. Yeah, he's been like, yeah, okay, I'm a sheep shagger, I'm this, I'm that. Oh this. right, yeah, 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 he's on top of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why his fan base love him. Yeah, but the, the guy constantly talks about how many and what many different drugs he's doing. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's like, okay, so you're telling me that you just like take like five tabs of acid, yeah, and then you start reading books about, uh, I don't know. Um, the the Inca tribes of uh, you know or the Amazonians mm. and whatever, and you just learn about that. Mm. I'm like, nah, mate. Mm. What, what are you talking about? Learning whether or not the moon landing's real. Uh, yeah. I don't know whatever he's doing. Yeah. Flat earthing. Yeah. What was he a flat earther? He calls he's a flat earther. Oh, of course he. Of course he's a flat earther. Yeah. Oh. Of course. But as I'm saying, I'm like, oh. where where did he get off? Like what? What on what point does he actually have a real conversation with a person? Yeah. Like I've done, I've done shows where he's been there many, many times. Yeah. He's not uh, an agreeable. He's not like a a pleasant person. Yeah. He's not somebody that you like unless you are established. Yeah. Or he's worked with you plenty of times before. Yeah. He's not really going to give you the time of day. He's not going to really have a proper conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. with you. He's there, he does his thing, he goes home, he drives to the next place, he goes to the next place. Yeah. That has been his life yeah. for approximately 15 years. Right, 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 like right, right, right. But, but he, he was singled out, though, like on the album, because he had a track on that album, though, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. people were saying, well, why have you got this geezer who's sort of like, you know, you know, everyone else was sort yeah. of doing it in order to sort of like be a, have a positive sort of 
sort of message towards the people of Palestine. Yeah. And then this is Giza was sort of being anti-Semitic. But that's Jewish. his thing. That's yeah, what he's yeah, going to yeah. do. Of course he's going to go on there and be like, right, well, it's got to be me yeah. who uh, puts the finger points the fingers at the people that need to be pointed at. Right, okay. Of course. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not surprised that he, he it was him that w- felt obligated to mm. do it, you mm. know? But like, it is what it is. At the end of the day, he's just recently been basically attempted to be cancelled because now he's uh, homophobic. Well, yeah, but he was always, always homophobic. He was always homophobic. <laughs> he was always homophobic. Wasn't he? Yeah. So it's like, what, like, what are you gonna do? Well, it's like well, usually when you get one ist, you usually get another homophobic or ist. Or yeah, whatever, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like if you're but at this point, racist, at this point I mean? in time, if anyone is still, still, still putting traumatic on tracks and supporting him as an MC and mm. giving him bookings, please stop. Yeah. Please. He just doesn't deserve yeah. it. He yeah. doesn't deserve it yeah. at all. Like, there's so many... Like, he's had it. To me, he had his career. Mm. Everyone went mad over the bars. But Jump Up isn't that sound anymore. Like, he can spit on anything. Like, yeah. I know he's done a lot of, like, ego tripping puts him on a lot. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I love ego tripping. Their their production is timeless. Like, mm. And they've evolved mm. in such a beautiful way. Mm. But... They don't even Babylon, didn't they? Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. they did. Yeah, yeah. Is any good? Oh, I've heard it. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's not going to be as good. Anyway, so <laughs> I don't care. I've heard it. It's not going to be as good. But anyway, so I'm like, come on, like again, they are universes away from where I am as a mm, person mm, and where we've grown mm, up and mm, what we've lived through. Mm, and da, da, da. Mm, mm. But you can see now everything going on. This is not the person to champion to your your attachments, mm, and mm, you've mm, got to mm. like, you just got to cut ties. Mm, mm, like mm. it's that plain and simple. Mm. If we we're arguing things about uh, trigger and base man, for mm. example, mm, mm. there are so many claims and statements and allegations about these two individuals, mm, mm. but nothing is like openly come to light. No. So I can understand why they'll be still be working with certain people because mm. again, there's loyalty. Mm. There's people that trust them and, and or have good working relationships with them and obviously it makes good music it sounds good mm-hmm. it's what people like and they're mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. the sound of the last five plus years yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, so yeah. it makes sense like, I understand that yeah. but traumatic mate he's got to go he's got to mm. go and and like with the whole Project for Palestine thing and everything like again a lot of my friends were hounding, we were hounding on the comment section because mm. it's not that we're against it. It's not that we're trying to say, oh, well, here you go. You're being anti-Zionist. You're being anti-Semitic. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. It's saying, okay, if you want to support Palestine, mm-hmm. do it properly. Right. Do it correctly. Right. Get your sources right. Get your um, charities correct. Find out where things are actually going yeah. before working with them or, or promoting them. That's right, because you showed me the link to where you can donate. Yeah. And, like, the first couple of sentences were, like, kind of crazy, weren't yeah. they? they were like, yeah, just, it was kind of crazy clear, what they were saying on this website. The opinion is clear. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, all right. But, again, you're, the, the, all of the drum and bass DJs that uh, uh, took part in this mm, mm. are not necessarily going to know that. No, they're not. They're not going go, to know that inherently. Because they so, like their fans of Boo. They believe that, you know, he's from a marginalised group. Yeah. And there was a lot of... Absolutely. For, for, for you know, marginalised groups, so to speak, with Black Lives Matter and blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it sort of like kind of, you know, sort of, it, it kind of like made sense that people would sort of support that side. Yeah. But like I said, it's like there's two sides to every war, Absolutely. two sides to every disagreement. And people and was, hear charity and mm, they do... Exactly. What, they, their brains go like loopy. Like that is just what happens. Because like, it was, a, it was, what was it called again? It was Boo uh, Charity Album. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charity Album. That'll uh, get you somewhere. Um, oh god, I can't spell album. <laughs> album. See, this is why we need a see this is why I need a Jamie. So D and B for peace. D and B for peace. There it is. Called. Yeah, yeah. yeah so D and B for peace. Uh, oh, we go. It's on bank here. Yeah, yeah. So who we got on here now. Oh, bloody hell! It's a lot of tunes. It's a lot of tunes. You know, sixty-three tunes. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's, there's and I'm there's, sure some of them were yeah. literally people just giving away dubs. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, because yeah, it's like, you know, they got, you know, AC13, Annex, Ben Snow. I'm not going to call out everyone, you know. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't call out everyone. No, no, why? Who's, 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 who's <laughs> There's just too many. And, it's too many, yeah. Like, and, and it's like, it's I know, like, but the track stayed on there, though. Damn. I mean, what, what, who's going to, why is he going to take it off? What for? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what for? Like, I don't even know how, it, can you take one track off individually on Bandcamp? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. But he didn't agree. Did he? Did he agree to take it off? Or no idea. 
No, okay, so you obviously didn't. No, I, did, I don't know, mate. Yeah. I tell you, it, once we kind of realised that it wasn't going where it was meant to be going or, or it is what it was, mm. we just stopped following. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was just, mm. you know, it's we were like, okay, well, people are going to do what they're going to do. Mm. People are going to, some people are going to support their mate. Mm. Um, and that's, and that's where it is. And it is, is incredibly relevant. Mm. Getting to the highest levels possible. Mm. Again, this is a person who has worked and deserved to have the career that they have. Mm. Can't trample on that, mm. but we just don't agree. Mm. We just don't agree. Yeah, and, yeah, that's, yeah. and that's as simple as it is. And, you know, I don't imagine that Boo would have the time to sit with me here and have a discussion about all of this because, again, his career is elsewhere. He's mm. doing other things. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if also he would be willing to even hear me or hear any of us say some of these things to mm. him mm. because, you know, he's gone out there and he's made his statement. He's made himself clear. Mm. He's, you know, he knows what he believes mm. and he's part of that group and that's fine. So so he's like sort of the opinion that, you know, sort of like... Yeah, he said it without saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's what yeah, I think. Yeah. And I, I'm like, okay... Yeah, but I'm not gonna like. Again, I don't hate anyone. Yeah, yeah. but it upsets me. Yeah, Why? yeah, yeah, yeah. because I loved Poison. Yeah, I loved uh, <clears throat> Creeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, good one, yeah. he's a he's a skilled producer. He's very very, very skilled person. producer. Yeah, I'm sorry, like there, there's no debate. Like mm. he's, he's he's objectively good at what he does. Mm. But I'm upset, and I, I I don't listen to his music anymore. Oh wow, you went there. You no, just was like, right, because okay. you know why? Because this is not the same as Kanye. This isn't as someone that's had a massive effect on my growth and my childhood, or, mm. or has inspired. So you things. can you can live I with can, that, but yeah, 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 what, yeah. What what do I need to go in that direction for? Well, I can yeah. go and do other things. Yeah, but Kanye is such a different different topic because any disco, any bar mitzvah, any maybe even wedding, any mm. kind of sort of situation, mm. you might hear a Kanye song. Yeah, yeah still, might. still. And still to this day, mm, 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 because mm. his music is mm, relevant mm. in many different types of settings. Yeah, it is, yeah. And, and, and it's like, damn. Like, and they're super catchy. Yeah. They stick in your head. Yeah. And he's just, it just comes out of like nowhere. Sometimes mm. he's, he's a very good hit. Mm. Sometimes he misses. Mm. People do. Yeah. But collectively, mm. There's not a single album mm. of Kanye's that I can say I don't remember a song from. I mean, there's some of the later ones. Once he went no. past the bleeps and that one, for me, for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Once a lot of people heart, heart breaks, well. Heartbreaks and 808s. 808s, yeah, yeah. 808 I think that was like the last one that I was like, all right, there's a couple of things in here. And then it was like Donda and you know, whatever it was. Or whatever well, he went, was what did he do? He did... Um, he did... Uh, 808s and Heartbreaks. Yeah. Uh, I think then after that comes my, my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Which yeah, you was... see, that was so self-indulgent, though. But it was such a great. Album. Did you watch that fucking video? He did. It's like an hour long. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But it was like regardless, oh. there are tunes on there that bang. Period, and they like commercially succeeded. Yeah. Then, well, then what does he have after that? Jesus. Yeah. Man, okay. What a great album. Really? Yes. See, the thing is, this is going. So this is me being old. What what happened with me is that I, I I you know like I said I was fine up to a certain point, but I just think he went a bit bleepy and a bit trappy and you know and I know mate he he worked with what's his name Morgenstein the 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 German techno producer on, yeah on, yeah yeah, on yeah but I didn't really like mate it was sonically unbelievable right okay well mate, I'm gonna to, I'm gonna so, give it a listen got to re-listen to that album I'm gonna give it a listen but it's crazy I'm like it's, see, a, it's a crazy album see like, so, yeah, go on, go on. Uh, like, sorry, sorry. I'm, like, I'm sorry, like, I'm just, again, speaking here from a completely objective... No, 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 that's all right. It was a great album. Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. And then after that, you've got uh, Life of Pablo. Again, yeah. plenty of songs that I can remember. Is that the, on the, the, the scoop de doop doop one? No, because that was a range, of, that was a few singles that came afterwards. Lift Yourself is a scoop de doop one. Is that the name of the tune? That's it? one of my favourite Kanye yeah, songs yeah, of all he, time. Yeah, because he's just taking the piss, Because he's a massive troll. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. He's he a just, massive, that's when I appreciated his trolling. Because he was basically because, saying, no, anyone, you know, you could just put together a stupid lyric, innit? And, just, and yeah. he, 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 he pissed off Ebro and he pissed off Drake. Yeah. T- releasing that song. Why? Because that song mm. was meant to be a collab mm. between him and Drake that was supposed to go on this, like, joint album that they had mm. in the works and then he basically just dropped it and Drake was like what the hell and mm. that was that was that that was part of the end of their relationship oh, wow. so like yeah like pretty much done I mean he, he seemed to have fallen out of Jay-Z at some point as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but again all of, all on the basis of trolling opinions mm. and then obviously the Trump era yeah and, and that's that's how these things 
happen, mm, mm, right? Mm, mm, mm. But then, like, <clears throat> to, um, you know, say certain things about what he was saying, um, I can't even remember his name now, uh, Trump's son-in-law, who's Jewish, yeah. uh, Jared Kushner. Oh, okay. So, so um, like, to have been a Trump supporter, spending a lot of time around Trump, he would have mm. spent a lot of time around Jared, and then he goes... I, I don't know if he, he spent goes, a lot around time around Trump. I don't know. I don't think he spent a lot of time. I, I, I I, 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 all I know is that there was an act passed, there was a bill passed that same week when they went there that was called the Fair Pay Act uh, yeah. for streaming. So it meant that all the streaming services in America had to pay better rates on royalties. Yeah. And yeah. Kanye and Kim Kardashian, and then Kim Kardashian got like 18 people released. Yeah, um, yeah. Lil from, Wayne from, got pardoned. Pr- 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 yeah, so a whole Lil bunch Wayne of people. Yeah, a whole yeah, bunch yeah, of people. Crazy. Got, a whole bunch that of people. That was a crazy So time. I think they just, I think, like I said, he's a troll. He, he made dad trainers trendy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? It was a piss take. You know, he, he went, he wore the MAGA hat because he was told that he shouldn't be wearing it because he's black. So he's like, fuck it, I'm going to wear it. Yeah. You know, he, you know, even up to the other but day. that's what he's done his whole career. Yeah, exactly. This is what I was trying to explain to some of my closer friends because they were like a bit upset with me when I saw, when I say upset, but they were just like, they think I was trying to defend his anti-Semitism. No. I wasn't defending his anti-Semitism. I was basically saying at this stage of, of, of someone who's so famous and well-known, uh, if they're saying shit, we can, we can react to, you know, the, the words that he says, mm-hmm. or we can ask why, why he's yeah. saying it. Even that prick, uh, fucking Mitsubishi. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I remember reading some of those passages and just thinking, and, and people are going to think I'm crazy. Right. I remember saying it to, uh, Marigold, uh, Chris Marigold, yeah. uh, Blue Martin. And I remember saying it to him, I don't think he believes what he's writing. Right? Because it, it's it's written so stupidly, like, and so dumb, like, all the things he would write are so, like, he'd use really old school racial terms, and you know what I mean? And it's almost like he's just trying to write the worst thing he can think of just to get attention. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's so like. think that I'm not was, defending it, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, but you think that was intentional I totally rather than this. rather than him just probably being like a total right. idiot i'm gonna right this is this is something i don't think i've ever spoke about publicly and i don't think they ever wanted me to speak about publicly but fuck it that thing where he got caught mm-hmm. mixing mm-hmm. Uh, with the cd you know when he was doing the fake thing he was like he had like pre-mixed cds yeah it's because he didn't want to play out and they made him and so he was like if you make me play out this is what i'm going to do so they went, all oh, right, yeah, and laughed it off. And then that's exactly what he went and did. Yeah, yeah. And just for that one thing, I do give him little props because he was like, no, fuck his. I'm not going to do what you say. I'm just going to be a cunt and just ruin your day kind of thing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he was just, yeah. 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 And he did. He, he brought disrepute onto, you know, that particular company and he brought disrepute onto himself. But he, you know, he left the label and then he went off and done his own thing, set up a band camp. And he's doing, you know, I mean, you know, when you look at his band camp, he's doing quite well. I, mean, I don't know if he still is, but. He seemed to be doing quite well because he managed to find a seam of people, a bit like Trump did, you know, that support these ideas and this thinking. So he knew that by spouting a load of shit, he'd get a whole bunch of people to come towards him and buy his music. Mm. And I think, you know, I don't believe with in that kind of process of, of creativity. I think you should create with a positive, you know, even if you create something dark, even if you're doing death metal, you still create it with the, with the idea of entertaining and being, you know, sort of one with people. But like, you know, it's almost like what, you know, the likes of Cardi B and Nicki Minaj have done where, yeah, they're great rappers, they're great entertainers. They're not the most technically gifted. They're not the most amazing, you know, you know, rappers. You know what I mean? But they create hate, right? And, you know, what was it? Cardi B said it. She goes, the reason why I'm rich is because people, other people hate me. Yeah. She knew that by being herself, she was irritating and annoying. <laughs> I think she's hilarious. Yeah, I think she's, I think she's uh, hilarious. But I could see how she'd also be fucking annoying. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Right? So people are like, who the fuck is Cardi B? And so you click the thing, you've played it for 30 seconds, boom, you've made her money. Yeah, And, yeah, and just yeah, to find yeah. out how annoying she is, so when WAP came out, everyone fucking went nuts about the lyrics. So you all went and pressed the tune, even though you didn't listen to the tune for 10 minutes. And it became the most streamed And it became one of the most streamed tunes yeah, yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, I think people have started <laughs> to work out, you know, Minor Philanopolis <laughs> and... Katie Hopkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, you know, oh, yeah. Katie Hopkins is a oh, different she's breed, a swat. No, yeah, But it's yeah, all yeah, kind yeah. of the same ballpark. It's like, let's let's just say some heinous shit and, and, and hopefully, you know, I'll upset enough people that it will make me some money. And, you know, can you believe 
some people actually thought that about me because, you know, I, I was calling some one particular individual, um, we kept calling me a clout chaser. He was saying I was a clout chaser. I was like, what the fuck? I haven't had my clout chasing check yet, you mm -hmm. fucking prick. <laughs> yeah? Idiot. I was trying to help you, you prick. Anyway, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. Jeez. Anyway. Um, ah, whatever. He's a cunt. But um, I feel sorry for him, to be honest. But anyway, um, you know, I, I wasn't getting my clout tra chasing check. You know what I mean? I, mm. You know, I ended up with fucking therapy. That's what I got mm -hmm. for that shit. Because basically, there's only black people that seem to give me shit for it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't really get it, like, why someone would choose to just glean hate from people in order to make... Because I didn't want any hate. I just was... I was just basically giving a work grievance. Like, do you know what I mean? But essentially... But you were doing your thing. I was that doing was my it. thing. I didn't, you know, I didn't do it like certain other individuals and make statements to the press and make hashtags and shit, you know, um, you know, to try and take down another label, you know, that, no. that I know and love and, and, and that I work with. And... Um, you know, it's just, it, you know, that, that was bullshit as well. And it's just like, you know, he was just trying to make a little name for himself because he got his panties in a wad because he couldn't get his own way on some ridiculous deal that he wanted to yeah, try and yeah. con that particular label out or fuck it, r &S, we know who we're talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's 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 annoying that people do that. But then I kind of get it because if you're just a talentless fuck, then what else are you going to do? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. like I said, you know, I'm not cussing Nicki Minaj or Cardi B particularly, but they're not the best rappers. You know what I mean? They know, they know what's the name of, you know, they're not like, you know, you know, Foxy Brown or, you know, that's no, no, yeah, show me yeah, age, yeah, 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 but you yeah, know, well, yeah, Gene yeah. Gray, personally, I think yeah, is like, yeah. you know, Rod Digger. Lauren Hill, come on. Lauren Hill, yeah. Rod Digger. See, no one ever talks about Rod Digger. Yeah, I oh, really. She, for me, is one of the most, you know, I know you shouldn't do male, female with the rapping thing, really, but if you are going to do it, just for this moment, please, allow me. Um, you know, Rod Digger, for me, was one of the best technically gifted female rappers or women rappers or whatever you want to call of, them. Of all time. I'm, I'm going to go... Over. Now, she might not have had the hits, but what Doesn't I always... have to. But what I always liked is when I heard her voice, she was just amazing. Like, it was yeah, like... Yeah. Jean Grey as well. Jean Grey. I'm going uh, to do my research. Rhapsody as well. Oh, of course. Yeah, Rhapsody yeah, of course, as well. Of course, Rhapsody of course, is of outstanding. Of course, of course. Outstanding. Of course, some of her, yeah, some of her similes are just brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. She's genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's a method. It's a way, and it's. I guess it's another symptom of the social media world that we live in. But it's just like, it's like you know, I was talking about stock market. God, sounds such a twat. I was talking about stock market earlier on, and it's like the idea of shorting something. Mm -hmm. It feels negative. You don't want to do it. You want to yeah. sort of buy low, sell high. It's yeah. like the idea of saying, "Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I hope this thing doesn't work, so I make a load of money." You know what I mean? Feels wrong to me, but you know that's what Matey Boy did in the big short. And he made, yeah, <laughs> yeah, about yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like you know because it's like he understands how the system works. Yeah. And, he, and he and he beat it. And he beat the system. Yeah, yeah. He was like it, him and a couple of other dudes were the only people that saw what was happening happen. And even though millions of people lost their homes and <laughs> like you know millions of people became jobless, these guys cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know they can live with that, and that's fine. But uh, I don't know. It just it doesn't sit right. But anyway, it, yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's, it's, it is what it is. So. You know, you've got all this that's happening. You know, so so going back to you know, I mean, we sort of gone a little bit off a, on the on a beaten track as we always yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so we've we've we were, we met. We talked about all these different you know sort of elements and tropes and you know you know like you know the 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 the, the connection between you know sort of like the black community and the Jewish community, particularly in America. Mm -hmm. You know, they seem to have a lot sort of a closer sort of relationship f certainly from the, the, because of here yeah, right yeah 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 um you know then maybe we do here i don't know yeah, is that, sound, that what I, I think it seems like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, i mean again if we're talking about the the levels of judaism you know when you go up to the more and more uh religious levels it all very much depends yeah. i have uh, a friend uh who is uh, black and Jewish. Yeah. And, uh, no, in fact, I have more. I have quite a couple who, some of them are mixed race, some yeah. of them are, some of them are, yeah. uh, so they're, they're not converted. Race, they, these are, these are people that are born Jewish. Their, their fathers are black and their mothers are white. Right. Okay. Right, okay. And no, I know what a mixed race person is, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trolling you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> My son is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what I'm saying is, <laughs> no. So uh, the mother is Jewish. Yeah, right, right, right. The, the father may or may not be. So they like Lenny Kravitz, yeah. then. Yes. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah, 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 exactly yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sammy Lee, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. as well. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. There, 
you know, inclusion into the community mm. obviously depends, you know, if they've been sent to Jewish schools, which two of my friends in particular have, mm. Mm. they've had Jewish education. Yeah. They, all the time, mm. they've been surrounded by it, mm. they celebrate, they mm. know. Mm. So they understand. Mm. So they also question mm. a lot of the things that go on mm. because, and actually, they, as being mixed race, more involved in the Jewish side of things. And again, uh, one of the, one of my friends is now uh, living in Jerusalem and he's, you know, very much like starting his family. Right. And another friend of mine lives in London and is doing his thing. Yeah. So you, they are, you know, not necessarily fully in touch mm. with the UK black community mm -mm -mm. because they might not have surrounded themselves around it growing up. Mm -mm -mm. So it's not something that comes natural to them and it's mm. not just something that, that it is. Mm. London is also giant. Mm. There's also very many parts of London. Very and much so. And most world. of us, it's most of us, are in North London. Right. Well, okay. Yeah. Very rarely. We got to get South London. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's just not where we came. It's just not where we went. That's it. So this is what I mean. I want to find out this anti-South London agenda. No, no, no. no. There's no anti-South London agenda. I promise you. No, no. I've been there, issue, there bro, it's like. just it's very much where we came. Yeah, and okay. is the areas that we 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 we. It's like North to. and East, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I should go and learn more about the history of why we came to North London. Yeah, that's no, something. It's super interesting. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't know back in very very old times what it had to do with mm. maybe affluence and mm. and you know areas, but I mean. There's certain areas in North London, with there also being certain areas in South London that mm. have certain affluence. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, why would Tom Holland, still born in Kingston, right, be living still in South London? Right. Right. Yeah. He's a giant Hollywood Spider-Man actor. Jewish? He's not Jewish. Oh, I saw that. I'm yeah. just talking about South London. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So why would he? Continue mm. also with Zendaya. Yeah. Living in South London. Right. Okay. Because there must obviously be some sort of great zones there to live in yeah of course there is uh, yeah, but, yeah but I'm not a South London expert <laughs> yeah. I'm, saying, I'm asking you it's east of, south, east of Kingston yeah is so, that South London it, I mean you know uh, it's South West <laughs> it's South West I ain't gonna hate on the South West Wimbledon Wimbledon Massive you know what I mean all that you know, but Earl's feel don't really feel like Do you know South what? I, no, it's not South is I it? saw a TikTok that is literally this yeah it was like Oh, all these places that people want to think that they're south. Yeah. They're not really south. They're not south. Like Croydon. You're not south. You're not south. You're not south. Not even London. Bromley. You're not south. You're not London. You're not south. Yeah, Croydon, right? Surrey, Bromley, Bromley's Kent. Like, there's just... so many places in London that could no. be either North London or North West London. Yeah. We don't even talk about North East London. We don't, we don't talk about North South London. No. We only talk about North London and North West London. Well, so when, north... you're, when you're North, when you're North. I'm... Wow. I believe that I'm in North. Yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm on like the very edge. Yeah. So, um, like... Is it wood green this way, isn't it? Barnet, Barnet. Barnet, Barnet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't give my location and that's yeah. as far as I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. So, was, so, yeah. so um, yeah, I'm on the edge. Yeah. So, like, you've got, again, um, your Hendons and your Golders Greens and, yeah. and your Edgewares. Yeah. Also on the edge. Yeah. Um, but... Hendon and Edgware and Golders Green, so like that, they consider yeah. that Northwest London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not that far a drive away yeah, from those yeah, locations. Yeah. Um, Stamford Hill, yeah. uh, I guess it's starting to be North slash East London. Yeah. When you're getting towards Hackney and Dalston and yeah. etc. Um, and then you've got, uh, where else are we big in? Uh, Stoke Newington, same place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's like that's what sort of more getting to oh, the Tottenham. Tottenham, Tottenham, obviously. Tottenham. Yeah, of course. Right? Of course. So Tottenham is hugely. Yeah. That is the epitome of yeah. North London. But then if you go around the corner, it's also Essex. I don't. Understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 like, no, That's how like mental London is. Yeah, you, right? it can so be. It's, it's like, I've always just gone by the postcodes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like really, I mean, yeah. I just like south to me. Once you get southwest, you're not like you're south, but you're not. You you just you just you're not proper south. You just you're posh yeah, south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're if you're but then you can be Dulwich, which is you know sort of southeast, and that's you know you know, relatively posh, I guess. But like Lewisham and Deptford and Peckham, Peckham yeah, and that, yeah. that's south. That, to yeah, me, that's yeah. deep south, as, yeah, as described in, uh, I can't remember, it's in, um, is it Football Factory? When you get lost yeah. in deep south, you're yeah. talking about Bourbon, you're talking about yeah. like New Cross, basically, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, Bermondsey, South. Bermondsey, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. sort of like central south, but you know, when you get a little bit south to that, you know, we're Millwall and, yeah, you know, yeah, all that, yeah, so yeah. that's like proper south. Yeah. And like, I was brought up in Lewisham, that yeah, to me is proper south. South, yeah, south. So you yeah. cut me, I bleed SC13. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But that's, I mean, it's someone from coming from south is like, ah, oh, shut up, you fucking, yeah. like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's that, but that's what I love about London, postcode patriotism. 
You know, it's a weird thing. Oh, yeah, thing. no, it's a, it's a great thing, I think. It's a yeah, weird yeah, thing. No, and it's it. hilarious, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, me and Neil Shiloh, who I love dearly, you know, he's got us, he's always taking the piss out of me being a South London boy. I always take the piss out of him from being a Tottenham boy. And it's just like, it's just been that way for, for forever. And and it's stupid because it's like we're literally both in the same city. It don't really make any sense. And we've, yeah, you know, yeah, we've, yeah. So, we've got so much in common, etc. But, um, you know, yeah, we still manage to find, fucking, me yeah, and yeah, you live there and I live here. And it's like, well, okay, well, let's swap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then what? You know what I mean? It don't matter. Yeah, now I live in, in Hoxton and it's like, you know, I've got a different energy here and, you know, I don't feel, I don't feel I'll ever feel like a North Londoner because I'm an N1 here, but I, you know, I always feel like I'm South on tour. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know eventually I'm going to go back home. It's like, you know, that, you know, I'm going to find my resting place. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You know? That's so funny. But it's crazy. Yeah. But I mean, what do you think, I don't know, what do you think Kanye, I mean, I just got to finish the Kanye thing real quick. Yeah. I mean, what do you think, um, do you think he'll ever find a way back or do you think he's done or, I mean, what do you, what do you reckon? So, again, some Jews might want to cancel him out completely, mm -hmm. but I'm part of the Jews that believe that maybe in some lifetime, maybe not in my lifetime mm. or his lifetime or whatever, mm. that he could have done something called uh, teshuva, teshuva, which is, in Hebrew, it means a teshuva is like um, an answer. Mm -hmm. um, and it means it basically like doing like a service to... Um, you know, to make amends and, mm. and you know, ask for forgiveness and, mm. you know, do right by mm. the things that he's done. And, mm -hmm. you know, I believe mm. that there could be a possibility where Kanye could do this in this world. Mm. But he recently got his Twitter back. Mm. He wrote, the first thing he wrote was Shalom, smiley face, and the Jewish community <laughs> are pissed. Yeah, but that's, that's, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it was a massive troll. I'm, I'm, not, sorry, I'm, just, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not I'm not laughing at what he said. Just, no, no, it's just the ball, it's the balls of it. Troll. I got that immediately, don't worry. It's the balls of it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's that's his first instinct. <laughs> like that's what makes me sometimes think that Kanye is crazy, right? Like that's what I'm saying to you. Like he's not uh, no, you know, fifty cents right, he ain't crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fifty cents said no, he's yeah, not crazy. Yeah, nah, he's no, he's very calculated. He uses that as a sort of and that's why, you know, you say certain things. I mean, the, the Joe Rogan podcast was fascinating with Kanye because I think there's not many people that out-talk Joe Rogan, right? Yeah, And I, yeah, and I think yeah. there was like a sort of 45-minute segment where he just... He was just talking. He just spoke on his yeah, 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 yeah. And, it was, and the thing is, a lot of the stuff he was saying in that 45 minutes, some of it made no sense and some of it made pure per, sense. Pure sense, yeah. That's what he does, though. And that's the thing. That's what he does. And, you know, it's, it's annoying. So, it, oh, okay, I'm, again, this is... Oh, God, I'm going to get I'm gonna get coated for this, but... But right. sometimes with Kanye, what I think there is, and this is what I was trying to explore with my other videos, is that, again, sorry, I was saying to get into the why, sorry, I was getting to the why people say things, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know why Ben Shapiro says certain things. I know why Traumatic or, or whoever, they, they're doing a thing to troll, right? Whatever, whatever. With Kanye, I think he says this stupidness, but there's like another thing underneath it, right? Mm. So, you know... When he said George Bush don't care about black people, he was talking about the disparity in how people are treated in society. He was, you know, when he was, you know, he made Taylor Swift famous. Mm. I never heard of Taylor Swift until he did that shit to her. Really? Never heard of it. Damn. Mate, I'm black from Lucian. Why would yeah, I have heard yeah, from that Taylor yeah, Swift? Yeah, Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> black people found out who Taylor Swift was the minute he went up on that stage and then, you know, oh, did my thing. To the point where she now is doing Earth, Wind and Cover Fires, right? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Mate, Taylor Swift... Yeah, very controversial artist. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really care if she does Earth with the Fire, but I just think no, it's just it's more wrong. Than that is there's more than that. Why? Well, what? it's not a discussion for now. No, what? No, 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 no. Uh, because, uh, has she said some shit? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Not said anything or just it's... just that she does the date someone and then write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think she deliberately dates these dudes just so family she Family Guy, to... you've got to watch the Family Guy episode about her. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's so accurate. Oh, okay, yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah. like, well, she gets a, you know, she gets a source from where yeah, she gets Yeah, but go from. on. Anyway, so, you know, for me, when he said, um, when he was talking about, what, what, what he did on Drink Champs, I think it was Drink Champs when he did it. I well, he's got two episodes. He's so. got two episodes. I can't remember which one. Um, but when he was talking about, you know, sort of like the, the, the sort of Jewish ownership of the major record oh, labels and stuff, one. right? Yeah, second, right? One. What he should have been talking about was how we need to get more black ownership of black art. That's what he should have mm -hmm. focused on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what yeah. he did, he went down that trope and sort of said, oh, the Jews are controlling everything. Because he thought that he was saying that by saying this. Yes, yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. wasn't because what yeah. he's doing now, he's clouded the argument 
and he's and he's brought attention away from what I wanted him to bring attention to was that yes, he has a point. But actually, Kanye, you had a label, mm -hmm. you signed bloody all those different artists, you know, to your label and then fucked them over and then you didn't but even he, treat but them. He admitted, you know he admitted that he had no clue what he was, was doing. doing. Right, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Right, that's fair. I mean, fair. is it fair? It's not fair because it's not fair to all of those artists who had no, no, so no. much potential. Yes, you're that, right. That, but that, that, at the very least... They deserve better. They the, could have signed with better labels they could have done, and had bigger careers. Or he could have just got a team to run it for him. Do you know what I mean? Like, true, you know, true, just, true just, 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 just so, yeah, yeah. like, you know, Damien Dash is, you know, and, and Jay-Z, they built Rockefeller. It wasn't just them two sitting there bloody, you know what I mean? They had a team, they put the people around yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Obviously. You know, I mean, even just a quick point, just to bring it to drum and bass. One of the things is, there's always that artist that goes off to start their own label, you never hear of them again, right? And I'm not going to name any names, but there's a couple that were really, really well known, and then they went, ah, I'm sick with this label that I'm on, I'm going to go and start my own label, and you never fucking hear a word from them again. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But one of the things I always rate about Alex Perez is from the moment he started his label, he got a team. He knew he wasn't the guy to run the fucking thing. Yeah. But he put his money in his pocket and he found people around him to run this label for him. And now look at the successes he's got because he's got the right people in the right place. Yeah. And that's what Kanye could have done. Yeah. And he didn't choose to do that. done that? Uh, Kazra are critical. Well, yeah, I mean, Kazra uh, wouldn't... Well, Kazra or is he not in that? I mean, lane? look, Kazra, you know I love you. I ain't hating because I know we've had a beef in the past. But like, Kazra's... A label boss in his in, in a typical sense. Oh, okay. And now he makes tunes. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? He wasn't he, he was doing tunes back in the day with some of the artists that he would collab, collab with. And, and yeah. I'm not cussing you, mate, I'm not saying you know, but I would never consider I know you know, he, he, you know, I would never say casual was an artist. I would always consider him a label, label boss. boss fair yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean I think he's managing bands and stuff now, you know That's what I mean? Like you know, fair play to yeah, him, like I ain't yeah, got no hate cool. for him. I'm just And what about just, um, um uh friction and shogun? Yeah, so that's, that's exactly. Yeah, so that's okay. an example. So he's got a team, and he's got Elevate now, and yeah, he's, yeah, he's got yeah, and Elevate. Of yeah, course, yeah, 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 no, and he's got people. You know, he had, you know, he had different people working for him, and different. You know, I know a couple of people that we used to work for him. You know, like that's a established entity now, separate to who Friction is. Yeah, you know, Andy C. You know, rap. You know, it, it's it's that's fine because you've got something where you know you've got a team, you've got a team of people. They they work, they do the things they need to do to get the label where they need to be. And if the person that runs it happens to be an artist or happens to be a DJ, fine. You know what I mean? But there are, you know, label bosses who aren't that and who aren't musicians and who aren't, you know, I mean, my former employees, one of my former employees, one example. Yeah. You know, you know, he's not, he's not any, he's a, you know, because he would consider himself a DJ, I suppose, but he's not yeah. an artist or, you know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, I just think it's, I think it's having about the right people around you. Yeah. And I don't think Kanye's had that. Do you know what I mean? No, he's definitely no, not had no, that. No, he's needed no, no. a couple of people. But some of the things he said, so, you know, and like when he said, and I know this is a controversial one, when he said slavery was a choice, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of know what he was, I know that that guy gave him that big old beautifully crafted lecture about what he said and how problematic what he says. And, he, and that guy was right. Mm -hmm. It was a stupid fucking thing to say. But he should have said, when I mean slavery is a choice, he's, he should, he, what he's saying is it's a shame that we didn't try to uprise. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it, he's saying it's like, well, we were so subjected and put upon and downtrodden that we just accepted it. You know what I mean? As black people, or as African-Americans at least. And, you know, it was about maybe saying that there was an argument for why wasn't there more uprising? Why didn't we just like, you know, because there was so much more more slaves than there were slave masters. Why couldn't we just turn around and just like, just, just yeah, yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, um, and, and that's that. That's all I'm going to say about that because I'm not saying slavery was a choice. Obviously, it wasn't a fucking choice. <laughs> but... I get that was the thing I think he was trying to point at, and I just don't yeah. think he's a very eloquent no, public not speaker. Not at all. Not and, at all. And, I'm, and I'm not defending him. I'm not saying, you know what I mean? I'm just saying that's what I think. And I'm, I just don't truly think he believes in all those tropes that he's coming out with entirely, but I think he's using things that he knows are going to cause maximum upset and offence to get attention to his causes. So when you go to London Fash uh, Paris Fashion Week, you stand next to <laughs> my mate calls him, uh, calls her Clan D Sewings, oh my and um, yeah, I love that Clan D Sewings. <laughs> and um, and uh, and you're wearing White Lives Matter T-shirts. No one asked him why. Everyone just went, ah, oh, he's a fucking arsehole, right? And no one asked him why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when you, when when he said why, he goes because he, because he goes because they do, right? He just said simply because they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> like, is that a troll or is that him just genuinely I just, expressing I don't an know. opinion? I mean, I think that's it's, him. I think that's him genuinely expressing an opinion for one. I think it's him trolling to get attention for two. I think. Also, he said that his dad, who was a black yeah, panther, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
thought it was hilarious. That's what I'm, I was just going to say. Yeah. That so, he did that yeah, to make his, to dad, make his laugh. dad laugh. Yeah, so he's trolling and being serious. Yeah, the same and time. that's the thing. I just think, you, you know, pe- people miss that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he then starts talking about fucking aliens or whatever the fuck he wants to talk about. Yeah, that's about. what I'm so, saying. Like, he goes off on tangents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that ruins all of his credibility. It does, it does like, sort of ruin it. a major problem. Yeah. Is that he can't keep to one tune. Yeah. So he'll constantly go up and down. Yeah. Now, when you say that you're not entirely sure whether his his heart or his belief is fully in everything he says. Yeah. When it came to the, uh, you know, the anti-Semitism statements, Mm. pretty much it is very clear that he, again, he could be argued to be just, you know, very, very hateful or bigoted or whatever, Mm. anti-Semitic, I think the comments he made are anti-Semitic. Do I think he's inherently anti-Semitic? Possibly, because, again, it comes from that same discussion of a lot of those artists that I mentioned before, like Jay Electronica, Buster Rhymes, who all come around having the same kinds of conversations Mm. and not having the full understanding. But because they have had bad experiences... Mm. they might see it do you know for a fact they've had bad experiences Ice Cube had, had a bad experience in NWA because of uh, Jerry Heller because right? of Jerry Heller right okay so he that's had a bad, clear so he got so so is that no worse than I mean that's no worse than you know a woman putting her handbag close to her because a black guy stands next to her on a bus do you know what I mean it's, it, yeah you could argue it's the right? same but I wouldn't point. I wouldn't say that that woman is inherently racist per se I think she, she's idiotic in that moment and in the action well no but, she either idiotic yeah. or she has absolutely no idea yeah. what that person is yeah. is going through yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, or, or in yeah, a situation yeah, of yeah. she's probably just heard things yeah. seen things yeah. and thought okay I just need to be careful yes especially if she's looking at the way they dress right. and the way they act and the way they talk yeah. and certain things yeah, yeah. I watched a, a, a video of uh, it was an American barber shop yeah. where a guy comes in and he's got like saggy pants yeah. and the barber goes to him I, I honestly don't know why you and the kids today are, are wearing your pants low that day. yeah if you know like, what that actually means what's the point yeah, yeah like it, you're representing a, 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 a big theme in mm. our in our history and culture that yeah. we do not want to promote anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. because it, it's a bad reputation it's a bad image mm. and it's not and it's street stuff. Yeah. And we're better than this. We yeah. are we could be on those levels yeah. if you just take your time to fucking pull your pants up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's simple as that. Like, yeah, but also it's a fashion statement. It's a fashion statement that you've got white people doing, and it's not even like mm. is it relevant to white people? No, but I don't there think it's go. relevant to black because it comes from slavery, it comes from I mean it, it, to be honest, the showing your pants, you know, your underwear above the rim of, is is like a prison thing. Yeah. And that means that, you know, you're available. Yeah. Right? So, you know, these kids... I mean, and if I'm wrong, check check me, please. Like, just tell me I'm wrong. But um, that's what I've understood it to be. And, and you know, there's certain people, the older generations that are saying, you know, you shouldn't be doing that because it's saying that, you, you know, you obviously want guys up your booty and maybe they, some of these young boys do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's up yeah. to them, you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. But, like, little Nas X probably does it, you know what I mean? But, like, you know... At the same time, there's kids that are doing it probably aren't gay and doing it, don't realise and, 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 and just think it's a fashion thing as well. So I, I don't know if we, we, sh- we should be putting so much into some of this. It's like, I mean, I, you know, I spoke to someone, you know, during the, uh, with, with the whole Indica thing, you know, when the, the young lady from uh, Manchester was using the N-word in, uh, well, nigga, whatever. What, she what? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, do you remember? I didn't even like, hear that. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago. She was putting up memes with the N-word in. Is she not like about anymore? Like, has she been cancelled? She got cancelled from a couple of gigs, but she's back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it didn't. Oh, okay. it didn't her cancellation didn't last long. Um, but I mean, this is a woman that has an OnlyFans and, you know, you know what I mean? I ain't judging, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a different generation, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it was about talent. But anyway, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I, I, you know, so, so my, you know, people, you know, obviously being the Black Jungle Alliance, but I, I got, I was inundated that day, you know, and, and people were sort of like, well, what do you think we should do about it? So I was like, well, why don't you listen to a Spotify playlist? And that'll give you the answer. Do you know what I mean? Because she's, she was at the time, she was 19 or whatever, 20, whatever. She was just spouting the same rhetoric she was hearing from people she sort of respected, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I don't believe she was racist, but then there's people who are going to see this and think, well, you know, Chris, you're wrong. She fucking is, and I've got proof of it. Otherwise, that's fair enough. But all from what I could see, I don't know. It just felt like she was just 
just yeah. about, you know, just putting up memes. Because she wasn't even saying things herself. She was using memes that had the... Yeah, but it. sometimes it reflects people's opinions. I mean, it also, again, depends mm. on background, raising, education. Da, da, da. That saying. all comes into and it, a big factor. It does. And it seems like certain people can get away with... It's, it's so weird. There's an MMA fighter called Mike Perry. Yeah. And he uses the N-word constantly. Right? And he's, he's not black. He's, he's British. No, no, he's, he's, he's English. Uh, he's American. American. He's American. But he sort of looks... They might be sort of Native American or Spanish, maybe. But, but that's funny. what happens. And I think he gets a bit of a bly because he doesn't look entirely white. Do you what know what I mean? What do you like, think of Native Americans, yeah. uh, South Americans, mm. using the N-word? I could tell you a story about that. I was in, it's, it's like everywhere. I was, in McKellen, I was in McKellen, Texas. Yeah. And uh, Jaime, uh, I, hope, I hope you're still well out there. He looked after me very well when I was down there. A guy called Jaime. And he had his bridge and I forgot his bridge, his name. And um, I'm sitting in the back of the car and they're both Mexican. Right, and he goes. He, so one of them is like, oh, "Look at these niggas over here." And he goes, "Oh, sorry, man." And I was like, "You know what? I think it's fucking hilarious. You crack on, mate." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I even, I even, I even tripping. Like, honestly, he just didn't because I'm not a nigger. Like, I, I, I don't see myself as one, and I, I never will be. Mm. I don't. People put so much in that word, and I just think we, we spend so much time getting upset about it. And it's like there's other things to worry about that mm. affect us more. Mm. You know, we, you know, everyone's worrying about Joe Joe Rogan saying it. 20 years ago, 13 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And then like, you know, look at it, look at this, you know, the, the entry rates of, of black males into college just dropping year upon year upon year. No one's talking about that, but they want to talk about some, you know, MMA commentator making a stupid joke and saying an M word fucking 20 years ago. Whereas Louis CK has got several M word jokes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, which are hilarious by the way. But you know, it's just, it's just like people choose the things they want to be offended by when it suits them to be offended. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes people sort of just will say something that you think, oh, right, they really mean that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know. And so when you mention Buster and uh, Jay Electronica and you say, because they said these things, it makes them inherently anti-Semitic. I, don't, I, I mean, obviously I don't know entirely what you're getting at but I don't want to believe that if they I mean maybe it's just me being naive but I don't want to believe that you know Buster is like you know out there you know no, you know, no, no, you know what no, I mean like, no, I, I just can't no. I don't you know. believe that either I yeah. don't believe that he's out there trying to start an alliance and yeah, yeah you know what I mean, it's like, yeah, I, mean what, it's I genuinely just think that it is a confusion yeah based on upon Believing that stereotypes, types, and tropes of Jewish people yeah. are the truth, okay. when it's not like it's just a it's just a thing. It's right, just okay. a, it's it's in a it's, you know it's in existence yeah. of what it is, yeah. and it can't like you know there's a you again I like I don't think he's going around and passing on the message. No, 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 I just like, think, not like he was passing the course there. Yeah, anyway, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so it's, it's more of like a you know what it is. I'll tell you because I was going to segue into it anyway. Mm. Kanye admitted mm. the reason mm. why he is expressing all of these statements mm. is because it all really links to, <coughs> excuse me, to his, uh, you know, hardcore Christ Christian beliefs right, okay. and things that he's been advocating for over mm. the last mm. few years, mm. especially during the Trump era. Mm. So again, he is probably thrilled. Mm that uh, some states have uh, made abortion illegal. Right, He's okay. probably super happy about yeah, this. Yeah. And he said that... Well, he's there Christian, are, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. But there are many things yeah. that the Jewish people do mm. that Kanye is either envious mm. or jealous of. Yeah. Stop. Mm. That is exactly when I knew. Mm. Right, well, you have to understand that the things you're saying are essentially anti-Semitic. Right. Because you're saying it from a place of hurt, a place of they have what I don't have because my community doesn't have this. Well, what is he talking about exactly when you say that? He's saying that not enough Christians observe the Sabbath, Sabbath and keep the Sabbath like we should. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jewish people, again, on the Hasidic and higher tier, because mm. I'm pretty sure that on the lower tier mm. of faith, strong Jews, mm. Mm. I'm sure plenty of them have had abortions. Right. And, um, you know, those on the higher level have not. Mm. They've had five plus kids. Yeah. Nissin yeah. Black went and had five plus kids. Yeah. Right? So 
Kanye is like, damn, mm. well, like, that's what I wanted. Mm, 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 and look at the family that he built with uh, Kim Kardashian. Like, on, on, a, on, on an objective basis, mm. he multiplied. Mm. He did what the Bible essentially told mm, him to mm, do. Mm, mm, mm. They, they're all a, a bunch of good-looking babies because they come from two people that, you know, typically look good, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so he did he did that. Mm. But he has said he was frustrated because he doesn't have that time away from electronics and away from technology and electricity. Mm. So he doesn't get that experience with his family and mm. now he's going through a divorce and now he's like fearing that the media and the teams and the representatives are mm. all trying to separate him from mm. his family mm, 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 mm. and he feels like he's being ostracized and he feels like he's being um you know uh kept away because he's the danger yeah i mean Jamie but Curtis he's just said, you know yeah. someone should take his children away why would the fuck would she say that it's bang out of order because she was hurt again is she, is she, she's jewish yeah, oh, yeah. jamie she, Lee Curtis is jewish yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Now you understand okay. why she might have said that because she was upset, she was angry. She might have ha- met Kanye multiple times in her life. I know, but you know, uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. You know, you know, I said in one of my videos, right? Like, because fe- people feel betrayed. That's yeah. the point. The reason why some people might react in the ways that they do yeah. is because they feel betrayed by yeah. someone that they thought they knew. Yeah. That's why they might say, oh, you did this, oh, you did that. I mean, look, again, we're not going to go into the victim Olympics. No. But because we, we, I've always avoided doing that with you, and because um, I, I, it doesn't get us anywhere. But I, I just want I want people to understand this perspective from you. You know what I mean, and your community, or at least your version of that yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it'll be, it'll be interesting if I have any other guests. Well, we've got Verity coming on uh, soon, so yeah. you know, um, that'd be interesting. But you know, I, I, it, it, it's, it's just, I know that you. So remember when I said to you, because, right, okay, so we're going to go into politics a little bit now. You said to me that one of the reasons uh, Corbyn sort of lost f- favour with the Jewish community is because he wouldn't say that he's not anti-Semitic, right? Yeah. Right, okay. And then remember I said to you, well, I didn't stop you at the door when you first come to my ass and say, well, you're a racist, Dan. Do you know what I mean? You had to say no. And then it was like, all right, we could be mates. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. And I'm like... Why was that so? Is it just because he's a politician? Or what, but why is that? It, it, why is that so necessary for the Jewish community to hear that out of someone's mouth? I'm not anti-Semite. Because like, everything that he was doing within the Labour Party anti-Semitic. was just seeming anti-Semitic, right, okay. and he was doing things to not, uh, you know, to discourage the, the Jews of Labour who were very loyal and supportive yeah. to many politicians, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, over the years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. They, they again. It's a. It's, it's going to always link back to the feeling of betrayal and the feeling of hurt, and it yeah. always comes to that because we've been expelled. We've been, yeah, 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 we've yeah, been yeah. from all of these different places, yeah, yeah, so okay. it resurges yeah. these feelings, yeah. and that's why it's constantly going back to that. So all we want, and then he just went out and said, "Oh yeah, I'm friends with Hamas." Yes, that was the draw the line. You are done, mate. We hate you. Like that was it. Right. Okay. Like, okay, I said it before that I don't hate anybody. Scratch that. Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn, yeah, hate him. Wow. Why? Because he openly admitted that, yeah, I'm cool with terrorists just doing what they want. But all, all so again, ignorant question. I just want to know, are all of Hamas terrorists or is it just... All of Hamas are, are clearly trying are they like the to manipulate the Palestinian people yeah. to believe everything they hear about Israel. Right, And they're okay. trying to coach them and the children yeah. that they need to be shaheeds and sacrifice themselves yeah. to free the people and allow the people back to their land. So, do, do you know Abby Martin? Have you ever heard of Abby Martin? She's an American, I believe she's Jewish, uh, journalist. And she's now banned from Israel because she was going into... Uh, she went to Palestine? No, no, no. She went, she went to Israel. Oh, okay. And she was interviewing... Jewish people, uh, Israelis, sorry, or yeah. Jewish, Jewish Israelis, sorry, yeah. on the streets and asking them what they thought of Palestinians or, yeah. or Arab people. Uh-huh. And, you know, some of the most, I mean, you, you'll hear absolute pure, and I hate, like, yeah, from yeah, yeah. every single person. Like, let's, let's have it right. Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying it's, to put it's, you in it's a hard. corner here. I'll, I'll explain, but, I'll explain you know what I mean? where that comes yeah, from. Well, yeah, well, yeah, no, no, I get it. But, like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like, if, you, if, if, if that was, you know, a, a guy in the deep south, you know, of America talking about black people, you would think, oh, this guy needs to be fucking, you know, electrocuted. Like, 
and and I'm not saying <laughs> I never said I want to electrocute his face. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry, you can cut it and purge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, 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 fuck it, I'm not cutting it. <laughs> but but I I I I I don't think you know, I it seems to be because when I spoke to those two guys, right, mm. they're both under the age of twenty five. Yeah. One of them said, I'm not going to tell which one, but one of them said that his dad sounds like that. He says that, you know, basically every fucking Arab just needs to go, right? And it was like, what does that sound like? Sort of genocide. Like, do you know what I mean? It's sort of sound genocide. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm thinking, it's weird that you would use the same language that applied to an action that was done against you. It's like, I've never heard a black pe person say, yeah, I want to just enslave white people. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you know, apart from Patrice O'Neill. But like, you know, I've never heard anyone say that. I've heard people say, you know, he does terrible things about white people. Some of my more, you know, not, not really friends of mine anymore, but you know, some some people in the past that I've heard, you know, I've said some, he does terrible things about white people. Yeah. And I've had to check him on it because, you know, my son's half white. I'm, like, I'm not having, I'm not standing for that. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've bumped into Nation of Islam guys that I thought were absolute abject dickheads and I've bumped into BMP guys that I thought were abject dickheads. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. It's, they both sound the same. They just both sound idiotic. So I just feel like, I feel like there's like a sort of, it's almost like there's extremes, isn't there? So there's like, you've got people that are going to say, I want all Jews dead. And then there's got people that want all but Arabs dead and then there's probably a whole bunch of people in the middle that probably don't feel quite as strongly as both of those feelings and you kind of feel like oh it's a shame that couple there can't be like a bit of a conversation somewhere you know both whether it's with the the, the, the Jewish government uh, sorry the Israeli government and Palestine I know we're jumping about a little yeah. bit you know what I mean you know but and, and just but to go back to Corbyn I just you know to say he was friends with Hamas it was like you know I mentioned Jerry Adams to you you know what I mean he was yeah. you know he was part of the IRA, right, at mm -hmm. one stage, and then, then he was now, then he was part of the government at another stage, you know what yeah. I mean, his life, you know what I mean, so this is a guy that was responsible for murdering people one minute, but then the next, he's now in the government and governing people, so I'm just saying, it was problematic what he said, but do you genuinely believe Jeremy Corbyn hates all Jews? Not publicly. Okay. Wow, okay, you think, he, you think he does it on the sly? Okay. I think he will never ever admit it in his life because he knows that what we will do to what, him. What he will ever do to him. He'll never say it he's 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 Well, he's just, he's, apparently he's living in Jamaica now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I've heard. There you go. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? That's it. It's just, yeah, I mean. He'll, 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 he'll never openly admit it. But what, yeah. what you were saying about Abby Martin and everything before, Yeah. the reason why you might have that and also, you know, experiences from previous generations mm. and what they might say is mm. because in Israel... Mm. The army service mm. is mandatory. Yeah, 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 everyone has to go yeah. from the age of eighteen mm. till mm. twenty-one, mm. Uh, eight uh, to twenty for the girls. Yeah, what they see mm. or what some of them might experience, mm. especially if they're frontline, mm. is catastrophic. Right. Okay. And yeah. it's and it's sad. Yeah. And there's a lot of suicide rates in, or, or in Israeli, soldiers in Israeli mm. soldiers yeah. because of shit that they see. Yeah experiences etc mm. yeah that's why some of them mm. won't be as open to discussion no 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 because they've seen yeah because yeah, no, they've seen stuff they've no, lost friends they've lost family they've lost people yeah to this yeah to this pointless conflict honestly yeah, right? yeah totally totally like that's just what it is like and it, it's sad yeah and like you know i have cousins and cousins and cousins mm. Who have either been mm. or are set to go to the army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nowadays it's much easier to do, uh, you know, you can't go to, you have to sign specific forms mm -hmm. in order to go to the front line if you're an only child. Mm -hmm. They don't want you doing that, obviously, right? Yeah. If you have siblings, however, which a lot of my cousins do, mm. They well, can go for a while, you got plenty of but, soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going <laughs> to do that mm -mm. because they know better at mm -mm. least. And, it, you know, like you, you can do your service and just get by. Mm. You don't have to prove yourself. But right. some of them, massive patriots mm. fighting for their country, mm. will go and prove themselves. Mm -mm. And when you get those patriots, mm. that's what happens. That's just a natural thing. It happens in the SEALs, mm. it happens in the Navy, it happens in everywhere. Yeah, 100%. Right? So, that's where those opinions come from. You can argue that the British Army, people who go from the British Army might have their certain opinions on Af what goes on in Afghanistan. Yeah, but... Right? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's all relative. Yeah, okay. It's I all relative. Okay, it's relative. Yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying. That's the problem with war, isn't it? Because it's like... 
it's like, you know, both sides, you know, apart from a couple of obvious, you know, examples, you know, it's always sort of like, ah, oh, but you know what I mean? Just, just fucking have a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits and have a chat about it. Like, you just sort of think, why can't I just have a dance off? You know, I, I, I don't know. I just. <laughs> if literally, if we could just have like a dance off <laughs> to solve all conflicts, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Who knows where we'd be? It's annoying. Because I just, I just, I just sort of like, for years, you know, I sort of know people sort of, you know, from one side, you know, in terms of, you know, the sort of like Muslim, you know, you know, Arab sort of nation. I'm not, and I still know people from that side. Yeah. And obviously, sort of later on in life, you know, I've sort of discovered different things. I've met yourself, guys like yourself and others. And, and you know, I've sort of heard other pictures and heard other stories. But it's like, you just sort of think, we well, both fucking sound the same. Like, do you know what I mean? Literally, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, like I was saying about the Nation of Islam guy versus like, you know, sort of a BMP dude. You know, essentially, I'm not saying that that's a fair comparison, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's, it just sort of feels like, why can't we all just get it? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> a little yeah, bit, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm being a bit of a pansy, but I just feel like it's, it, it just seems so unnecessary. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, even, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm probably, I'm probably talking about subjects that are way beyond my, my, um, my, my knowledge level, but it just, <laughs> I'm just looking at people suffering, whether, yeah, it's, yeah, whether it's from the Israeli side, whether it's from the Palestinian side, you know, even with this, you know, this business that's going on now, you know what I mean? I've got friends from Russia, I've got friends from Ukraine. You know what I mean? Literally, like, I, like dead set. I've got yeah, both, yeah. like, both friends. And, um, you know, I wouldn't want any of them, any of their families be affected by this conflict. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I, and, and, you know, whatever you might think of Putin or whatever, whatever it's, it's always the people that suffer. And these are the people that aren't necessarily involved in the decision for these countries to do these fucking things. And it's just like, when is it going to be like a point where we go, oh, what do you mean? I'm fucking, what am I killing him? What am I killing him for you for? You know what I mean? Why don't we all take a, um, uh, Muhammad Ali? You know, no, v, no Viet Cong never call me nigger. You know what I mean? He yeah. wasn't going to go and fight some crazy war just because this government told him to. And I just wish more people had the balls of, you know, uh, my, um, oh, keep going to call him Martin Luther King. Sorry. And Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Because maybe, you know, you know, maybe if people had a bit more dissent and there was a bit more like, all right, well, fuck you. You know, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Like, we might not be here. We might not be in the Russian thing or whatever situation there is. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just it's just, tiresome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man. But there you go. Well, look, uh, I think we've got to get on to hip hop because <laughs> this has been, a, it's been really fascinating, but I want to find out what, all right, okay. You said uh, Biggie Smalls was... Uh, Shabaskoy. 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 Yeah. Shabaskoy. But who... Have you got a top three or top five? Are we talking oh. Jewish MCs or general MCs? Well, why, why being a Jewish MC? You should be all of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll do your top three because Jewish I, MCs. My top three Jewish MCs. Do your top three Jewish MCs. All right. Go on. So, at number three... Yeah. <sighs> wow. Um, oh, I can't believe I don't even... Know his name right now. This isn't fair. Uh, from Beastie Boys. Oh, uh, uh, AD. Yeah, AD. Yeah, yeah, AD. Yeah, yeah, AD. Yeah, AD. See, aren't right. you? Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, even know yeah, history, yeah, my child. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean? apologies. To see, AD. I'll get, I'll get yeah. his like Judea's yeah, points yeah, 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 yeah. on that one. Yeah, okay, cool. So, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, historically, to me, the sound of what hip hop was at that time it mixed was with distinctly mixed with like. Rock, obviously. Yeah, like, yeah, like that. Yeah, I love the blend. Yeah, like, but Paul's boutique wasn't. That was the one they did with dinner beats in there and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that was, was my favorite. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm because I'm trying to think of so many of my head, and the thing is, we're we're a minority. Yeah, like, we really don't yeah. have it. But mm. um, Lil Dicky at number two. Why? Yeah. Why? Let me tell you why. Because he 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 just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Doing some random, you he went viral on YouTube. Yes, and I thought, oh, okay, this guy's super funny. Yes, but then he had bars. That tune he done with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, a professional it's rapper. Yeah, it's incredible. Genius. It was game changing. It was genius. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go that far. But yeah, it, it was, was genius. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. For, for the Jewish community, maybe. But, no, for conversational 
rap. I don't know, man. There's a few conversations. I think just listen to any, all the Public Enemy and you've got conversations. Yeah, no, true. But I mean, like, in, in, the, in the, the speed, the tempo, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way everything was the going. The way done it was very, very, very well done. The way it was very, done very was, was different. And yeah, it was just fresh. Yeah, 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 it, was it was really, really fresh. Good. It was really fresh. But have you seen his uh, freestyle on Sway, though? Little Dicky's freestyle, yes, but the best freestyle, in my opinion, of Sway was the second time King Lost went on there. Oh, yeah, of course. No, that's of all and then, and of actually, all MCs, yeah. And, and uh, I mentioned it the other day, Tyler Creator on uh, Funk Flex as well was, yeah, was, yeah, was yeah. hilarious. But, so, number one. Well, before I... You've got, oh, no, go, you've go, got, go, go, go. You've got to watch the Lil Dicky on Sway. I will do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah no, I will do, of course I will. Bars off the Richter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Number one, mm. your old Droog. Your old Droog? Your old Droog. Your I've sent you him. Droog. I've sent you him loads of times. You have, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, New York. Yeah. Ukrainian. Yeah. Jew. Wow. You have sent me his stuff. And I've yeah, got, you've, got, you've got to dig in. Yeah, The guy's yeah, okay. releasing albums every two months. Wow, okay. He's, probably... released, he's probably released about four or five albums this year. Yeah, that's quite Something like that. Mm, I don't like him. No, 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 no. But he's completely independent. Okay, no, that's fair but enough. So he's he's so, earning his money. And, yeah, and, yeah. He, and he's just done, on his last record, it was yeah. just called, uh, uh, it's not Yod Stewart, it was um, <laughs> something else. Oh, man, I, I can't remember. Production with Madlib. Like, the guy has climbed the ladder No, I was on his own. to say. He's, he's climbed <laughs> the ladder on his own. Yeah, but hold on. I He's remember. got a tune what, on what? his on his first studio album oh, yeah. with um, Doom. Drop okay. out boogie. Drop out boogie. All right, all right, all right. Oh yeah, Dmitry Kudsenko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joel Drug is a Ukrainian-born American rapper and producer of Brooklyn, New York, who first gained public attention. Oh, I'm not gonna read the rest of it, but yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. really good. Your old Drug. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, I yeah. am going to. Oh, why to is he? Is he on Griselda? He might be now. Oh, I no. don't know. Marigold, Monogold, Low Bank, Grugor, Mogul, Droog Recordings. Okay, he's got that now. Yeah. No, yeah. it's just that people also search for, and it was like Mac Homie and then Westside Gun. Oh, because he's, he fits into that bracket. Does he? He's yes. the same style. Yes. I tell you, you have to get So, does he work with Alchemist then? Has he officially? I don't, I, I, I can't remember. Okay, cool. But he, um, mate, he's unreal. All right, he's, cool, cool, cool. He's cool. unreal. He's well, got, you heard it here first. You've got so many, so many things to check out yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, like just unbelievable mm. but um it's just because he can literally rap on anything yeah very much your style of hip-hop yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, i know i know uh, right, yeah, and like my he's no just thing. He, he, he's just yeah unbelievable yeah just okay. unbelievable he works a lot with mac homie right, he okay. works a lot with he's done some tunes with like one feature or two with action bronson oh, okay, okay um okay. yeah he's been he's been on west side oh, gun albums yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just realised. Yeah, he he's was on about. The gun. He's yeah, a yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, he's, I have seen his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's no. he's top. Yeah. Yeah. Quality. Yeah, no, no. He well, if, 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 if Westside is, if Westside has work. Yeah, and Alchemist, know. obviously, best Jewish producer out Alchemist. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big yeah, yeah. I loved Alchemist, um, man. But otherwise, M's, like, best MCs, best rappers. Yeah, all time. Doesn't matter where from. Who, Doesn't matter where, where from, who, what, where. Okay, there's no particular order. But I said JME before. Yeah. Because, yeah, no doubt. Okay. Um, Biggie, for sure. Yeah. I mean, again, very hard to quantify. But for what he is out mm -hmm. and what he has done mm -hmm. and what's iconic, mm -hmm. mate, he was unreal. Like Biggie, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Um, Action Bronson, yeah, that's just yeah, that's yeah. just my taste. Cool. Um, not initially one of my favorites, but I've over the time because of everything that's recently happened, I have very much found my appreciation for Takeoff. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I haven't heard of You have to, uh, you know what? I thoroughly encourage you. Do you know why? No, no, See, no, 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 but you've got to go. This is the age gap thing now. No, 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 I, I, no, no, I, don't, no, I can't. You've yeah. got to go from a certain, because I know you. Yeah. You've got to go from a certain era. I just, yeah. Trust me. No. When I say, no, 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 trust me when I'm I too say. Young. I can't do it. That, that <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Some of it yeah. might sound like it's past your time. Yeah. But mm, mm. just listen. Bro, I've got, listen. I've got Griselda. I don't need to listen to games oh, okay, that right, look cool. like that look and like. And then obviously we've got, obviously we got J Cole <laughs> and Kendrick, and yeah. and um, 
Uh, I'll listen. Benny, to, the, I will, I will Benny check. the Butcher. Yeah, I will check. Um, uh, yeah, King King Lois is great. Mm. Um, he's a great freestyle. He's, freestyle, I've, yeah. I, not as a musician, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not, not, not amazing. Yeah. Um, wow, I don't know. I'm so stuck for some. No, uh, I mean, nothing. come on. Have you heard King's Disease Three yet? Which one's that? King Nas. Nas. Oh yeah, I started to listen to it after because who is it? Who, who? Nas is a is a head breaker. Man. Who the fuck said that shit about Nas? The other, the other. Twenty One Savage. You know what? Twenty One Savage. And he just dropped and he just dropped an album with Drake that was all right. But you see, there you go. He says some heinous shit, gets attention to him. Album comes out. Yeah. That's the thing. It's it's, it's bullshit. So I'm spitting lines. Isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know if he's. That, yeah, that could be calculated. Of course it is. But uh, Michael Rappaport yeah. went on a... And Michael he went Rappaport, on a massive rap. Michael rap. Rappaport, Jewish. Jewish, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he went on a yeah. massive rant about, yeah, yeah. about 21 Savage. Yeah, he's like, he's like you rude. don't know. You don't know it's what rude. it was. It's rude. It's just rude. You just don't say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Like, imagine that Nas has also championed many, many, many up and comers. Yeah, I know. And he could have easily got a feature spot on King's Disease 2 because King's Disease 3 was an entirely solely mm. Nas album which I'm glad it was because yeah. it was it was great yeah. uh, King's Disease 2 in my opinion is a better mm. album but yeah. um, could have had your chance I mean I love I, I do love Nas right and you know uh, Illmatic because of the production you see it, my thing is production first yeah of course of course because you can have an average rapper on a bad boy production and he, he, he sounds good. Yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And 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 that's that's from, I mean, yes, if you've got an av- if you've got an amazing rapper on an amazing production, happy days. Which is why, you know, Mad Villain Mad Villainy for me is one of the greatest hip hop albums ever made. Because you've got MF Doom and you've got Mad Lib. I mean, there's nothing more to be said. But but um in my opinion. Um but I I have I've, MF Doom probably is up there. Uh Twilight Quali. Oh yeah, of course. Black Thought. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Um, I said Black Thought. Yeah, Black Thought, uh, Guru, um, Chuck D. Um, I'm going to give Eminem his due. Yeah, of course. You have to. Can't, can't you have to. not. You have to. Uh, you have to. He, 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 he's a game changer. Because yeah, he, yeah. man came in to like the blackest industry there is and just... And got respect. And got ultimate respect. Yeah. Like yeah. proper, proper respect from... Yeah. from Top to bottom, apart from uh, Lord Jamar and a few others. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Lord Jamar went at me. You're a tourist. It's like, yeah. no, nah, mate. He, 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 he did what he needed to he do. Did, yeah, he did everything he needed to. And he always paid his respects. Yeah, yeah. He well, never that, got lippy. The, he never the, got pasty. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame speech was just proof. It was that. brilliant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. proof. Yeah, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. proof, man. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I love proof. That's what I'm saying. But it's just you know, it's it, it, it's 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 you know, Eminem has got his due, but like Doom for me. Be, is but being a, yeah. you know, being a South Londoner originally as well, yeah. he's from Campbell, he's from yeah. South London, South proper South as well. You know, he's tra- you know, you know, hello governor, he's got tunes and all that sort yeah. of thing. And, and on, on 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 search chats with like you know, blimey, he says in certain words you can hear in him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, because he's got the culture. He's got the culture. The he's yeah. not got the accent. He can hear it though. And like, it's sort of in a, it's like I'm, I'm good friends with uh, Clayton Reagan Hardware and like I always take the piss out of him calling MF Doom because he does have the same sort of cadence to his voice as oh, MF wow. Doom. It's quite funny when he talks on the phone. But um, um, you know, I've always been a massive fan of MF Doom. Um I, I mean I do I did mention Rhapsody and, and uh Gene Gray earlier yeah. on as well, particularly because I think they just made outstanding contributions to the culture as well. Yeah. Um and then, you know, just Chuck D was the voice of my teen years. He 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 was the person that made me you know, want to go and look up about my history, about my culture. Yeah. I didn't know, I mean, I obviously knew I was black and knew things were kind of shitty. You know, you know, when I was about 13, 14, Stephen Lawrence got killed and that was the same time, you know, Onyx came out yeah, with, you yeah. know, back the fuck up and throw your guns in the hair and tack the ball heads. And, you know, I remember, you know, shaving your head, you know, me and a couple of mates got shaving your head and going and look for people to do so. Oh, you gosh. know what I mean? I'm not ashamed, I'm ashamed of it now, but, you know, it just, but it was like, it was galvanising. It was like, you know, there's a lot of power in hip hop, like for, for black, for me as a black, young black boy, you know, because I saw all these like gods from America, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden you had like hard noise and sudden noise, you had Blade, you had, you know, you know, uh, uh, Silver Bullet, you know, here um, in the UK and, and, and you know, Syndicate, you know, who, who Spiky T, my partner in Origination, yeah. you know, was a member of, um, you know, they were championing another thing in the episode Soul, which weren't rap per se, but it was like very instrumental and important in terms of like, you know, seeing, you know, black excellence. And and I think that was what 
hip hop has always given me, you know, Fear of a Black Planet is my favorite album title of all times, mm -hmm. all time. Because, I mean, it's it's still it, it's still kind of relevant today. Like you know what I mean, the title and it has it is it's a distinct message in the name of the album. You know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, and I don't know, you know, people will say, oh, about you know, Sergeant Peppers. No, fuck, fuck Sergeant fucking Peppers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, Fear of a Black Planet is my favorite album title because it's not because we want you to be scared of black people, but it's like about the 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 the, the amount of seemingly the amount of effort it seems that is happening from certain groups to other groups, you know, I mean, you know, you, we'll be talking about the experiences you had, mm. you know, it sort of feels like, oh, well, you're just scared for us to just, just be, just to be, you know what I mean? You just yeah. you don't even want us to be, we, you want us just to be down here all the time, but we can't be over here, we can't be over there, you know? So I I, I love that. Um, but Black Thought, I think it's got one of the best rapping, yeah. like best names, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, I've got to give prop, um, no, nah, I'm not gonna say him because he's not a great. He, he, like, I, I love his voice, Q-Tip. I've always loved Q-Tip and and Five Dogs' voices, yeah. but they weren't always the most technically gifted. And one person I did forget from before was Ghostface. Oh yeah. Because I think for me, Ghostface was that experimental element. Yeah. You know, you know, you listen to some of his albums, he's just rapping over another song. Yeah. Where yeah, it's yeah. someone singing in it, and he's still rapping over it. And you're like, well, what are you doing, man? Why are you taking a look like a normal person? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, nah, I'm just going to rap over the song. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, all right, okay, fine. But it's, it's but like, what about ODB? You see, that is album. What was that, uh, his album called? Um, what was the album called? It's the only album he did, didn't he? Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching. I forgot what it's like. There's that skit where he does that thing where he goes, ah, and he just keeps it going for yeah. ages. That <laughs> That's the thing I remember about the album. Um, I love ODB. I love all that free, all the freestyle videos. Yeah, that he's done. Uh, yeah. What he's doing, and then there's that one where he's beatboxing for the for Jizza or Rizza. I yeah, think it is, or Meth. I can't remember. It's, he's beatboxing for one of the other members of Wu Tang, and it's like he's just kidding. <laughs> he's like, he's doing <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was just a true Character, original yeah. spirit. And like all the true original characters and spirits, you know, they, they always go too soon. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you probably still have a contribution to make now. He yeah, yeah, is, well, yeah, you know, yeah, well, yeah. The rest of them are all like in their 60s, you know, like now. Yeah. He'd still be a character, do you know what I mean? Yeah, not, like, not like Flavor Flav, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. In, a, in, a, in a very sort of like different way. So um, I, I love hip hop. And um, I mean, I love, like I said, I've been talking a lot about Griselda, but I love that whole... Um, languid uh west coast you know that the sort of like children of you know uh odd future so you know you got um ah not tally who's the other one oh sweatshirt oh sweatshirt thank you yeah, yeah, yeah that album he did some rap songs yeah listen when you talk about my man's rapping over just textures yeah yeah it's not even it's not even what Alchemist is doing, but it's like a rhythmic nature to some of his loops. It's just textures. And there's another guy called Dave the Rapper. Mike, Mike. Mike the Rapper, yeah. Mike yeah, the Rapper yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's some of his albums are a hard listen. Like, do you know what I mean? Because the, no, the I remember do you know what I mean? back when you yeah, showed, yeah, yeah, you showed yeah, me yeah, yeah, one yeah, and yeah, I was sorry. like, <laughs> I was like, no, some of it I was super getting into. Yeah, yeah. And then the other ones I'm just like, like Yeah, yeah. But those are the know. ones that I like. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just like I'm just like it's like I don't know how you do it, yeah. I love some of the the textures. Cause it's like they're not really rapping over beats; they're just rapping over textures, and that's what I, I love. That it's like prose over textures. It's something yeah, yeah. evolved from what hip hop was to what it is now. And there's a whole, you know, there's a, you know, my eagle, um, uh, open my eagle, and uh, you know, you got uh, Chris, well, Chris Cords or Quelle Chris, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah Quelle Chris. You know, all these weird sort of like, you know, what would have probably been considered backpack rappers maybe yeah. in the past. And they're just creating, and they, they're clearly all making their own beats. And they're all, again, they're all people that were influenced by Kanye. Yeah. Because they're all making their own beats and rapping their own beats. You know what I mean? You know, Mike is clearly making those beats. Yeah. Like, yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, you know, I love that. I love that ingenuity. I love the invention. I love the experimental nature of it. And I think what pisses me off is a statement, oh, there's no good hip hop anymore. It's like, just fucking look. Just look. Arm and Hammer. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Stove God Cooks. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Rome Streets. Boldy James. Boldy, ah, yeah. oh, Boldy James, man. I love yeah. how he's like, 
he, he just sounds like he doesn't give a shit, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's just doing his thing. He's, he's just doing his thing, but I like the... He yeah, just sounds yeah, like... He's just casual. He sounds like he's rapping like, you know what I mean? He's yeah, like on rapping, the bed, yeah. He's, like yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got the like, microphone yeah, yeah. there above him and he's just chilling, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's like that footage of Marvin Gaye when yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's lying on the couch just yeah. singing beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, who does that? Oh, man. Do you know what I mean? So... You know, hip hop has always been a major part of my life, and it's how we met. We, I even, I even, there is even a tune that exists. We've got plenty of tunes. We have got a couple, haven't we? Got we? A few. We've we got to go back really and sort of, yeah, yeah, and sort of, yeah. But there's even a tune where we collab and I do rap on it. But I'm which I've still not heard the verse for. I'm still waiting. I did to play hear. the verse. No, you didn't. I did play it because you talk. Oh, oh, I did. You the played one about, a draft. Yeah, no, but well, I didn't really go back in on it. I just, I can't like. Go back did. in on yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, well, I think. You know what? Give it time and then send it to me with your verse on it so I can hear it. No, but I think I'm going to write a different verse now because that was yeah, how that I was, was feeling. Yeah, at the time. At the time. Yeah, at the time yeah. I was like, you know, fucking whinging about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whinging we'll about check. a woman. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, ch- we'll change um, it. Change yeah, and I'll change it. Um, yeah. I think, I think I'll, I'll, I'll write something else because it was an attempt to... Ah, uh, fuck it. It's all right. It was an attempt, to, it was an attempt to, 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 to win it was someone then, back. And this is now. And it's like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, no, that right was sense. then, this is now. Well, that was a different thing because the first yeah. one was about... So anyways, yeah, yeah that's, it. that's <laughs> it. That's it. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, before I go, yeah. uh, I would like to say to, again, my community, all of my friends, <laughs> family, all the Jews, Jewish people I know, yeah. uh, Everything that I've given on this, uh, you know, conversation to this conversation, uh, I hope that I've done as well as I could to represent us and not, uh, you know, fallen through any potential holes that, you know, with my own speech and my own opinion, obviously, that might be against what we believe or what uh, is essential or, you know, research and important that we need to uh, amplify. Uh, Again, if I've missed anything out, please feel free to comment and add that in because mm. I'm not here to, uh, you know, be anyone's enemy. I'm literally just here to, uh, you know, I'm yeah. a friend of Chris and I'm, I'm here to, you know, speak for as many people as I can possibly speak for. I can't speak for all of us, of course. No. And, um, yeah, I've just given everything that's on the top of my head and I hope that you can understand and respect that. And, uh, yeah, like I'm just, you know, I can I totally understand if some of the things I've said you might think that I may may not be understanding it enough mm. or not supportive enough mm. or not seeing certain sides that I need to be seeing or so on and so forth. Mm. I'm just purely thinking, and that's how I always think, from an objective point of view mm. of well, what do you know, what is clear and what isn't clear and and then obviously there's a bit of subjectivity in it, you know, of whether I have opinions on certain people's music or or thoughts regardless of you know separation of the art from the artist and Mm, so on mm. um but you know i'm just trying to kind of say how i feel in order to obviously give chris a more of a a booster to understand our perspective and where we're coming from and why we are upset about a lot of these statements being Mm. made and a lot of the discussion being had and the fact that there should be more being done about it and obviously that is a way bigger conversation but Again, yeah, right. you know, yeah. like that we want to just, uh, you know, get as many, as much support and as much alliance as we possibly can 100%. because, you know, like that's what we need. We need to be having conversations. We need to be having challenging conversations and we can't just be cancelling left, right and centre and we can't just immediately throw everything out the window. Unless you're Jeremy I, Corbyn, of course. Unless, of, yes. Of no, course. I, yeah, 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 yeah. You can go, you can go. But, yeah, we need to, uh, we need to just, like, that's it. It's, it, the, the, it. The society and the growth and the, the, the coming together is never going to, you know, happen mm. if we don't sit here and have these conversations and be honest, because otherwise, like, we're just silencing it all or we're just pointing fingers or we're just saying, all right, well, he's gone against us, not relevant anymore, bye-bye, dis- dis- disregard, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure some of you may feel that way. But again, like, I believe that everyone is capable of having some sort of redemption. Um, obviously, there's a lot to do to be fully redeemed and, you know, it's not easy to do. Um, but, yeah, I'm obviously clearly not happy and upset with statements and comments that have been made and mm. that have been circulating around the media, it doesn't, you know, I, you know, it pains me to um, have to feel the way I feel about these artists. But mm. 
what can I do? The you know my people come first, and 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 that's like that's the 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 primary thought that I'm, I had going into this conversation and why I wanted to come on here and talk about it. Mm. And again, I just hope you can appreciate that. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. It's worst comes to worst, but people come first. First. Yeah. 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 Rosh Hashanah. You want to get invited to Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Purim. Purim. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Pesach. Pesach. What, what was Pesach? What, 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 Passover. 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 Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, okay, so you say yeah. right, Pesach. Right. Um, what else can we invite you to? Oh, all uh, of them. Yeah, yeah. I and want in. Simchat Torah. Yeah. Uh, Yom Hatzmaut. Right. All of them. I want all of them. Yeah, I want yeah, to invite. Yeah. Someone invite him. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your family. Yeah, everyone's yeah, everyone. family. Let's invite him. I want to go. I want to learn. I want to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I encourage anyone that I'm friends with. To yeah. invite him to and, have a conversation. And by the way, I'm not doing this because you think I was going down an anti Semitic route by asking questions about Kanye, as I'm sure some of you will probably sort of like go, oh, <laughs> he's, got, he's getting his Jewish friend out, blah, blah, <laughs> blah. Totally Jewish yeah, friend, totally yeah. Jewish friend. No, 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 no. It's just that this literally has been, you know, three years? Yeah. Uh, Almost yeah, two and a half, two and a half, half, yeah, two and a half yeah, years yeah, conversation yeah. between conversation, me and him. Yeah. I've learned a lot about his community and, and his and his and his religion and his culture. And I think there's been aspects of you know, my black Britishness, if you like, that I think has, has enriched you. And, and and um, you know, I don't really see what's, you know, there's no harm. I, I just, I just no, see what it's I, about, I, you know what I, mean? I think it's perfectly normal yeah. to have conversations yeah. about these gotta things and you've got to do it. It's got to be, it's got to be done. I yeah. just hope that no one misinterprets where I'm coming from. I don't because, think so. No, I don't think so. I think, you know, I think I, you know, people, I've had many other conversations with many other people and yeah. I just hope that if there's anything that I've missed, yeah, and that could be added in and that could yeah. be filled into even me and the both of Link, us. Link, comment, Just describe. say whatever it is, you know, yeah. fill in the gaps. And, and look, if there's anyone that's out there that, you know, is feels, feels particularly strongly about it, I am all up for having that conversation. Like, yeah, I really, yeah. I, you know, I, you didn't, I didn't really want this to be, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm, a, I'm a junglist at heart, you know what I mean? They're my people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the other J word, you know what junglist I mean? movement. Junglist movement. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I just want this to be an open discourse and have a have a good chat about anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just like just 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 let's be intelligent and respectful with it, and and you know, you, you should be fine. You know, you, don't to, you know, you don't have to be like some of those idiots that we were talking about. You know, during this thing, whose name we're not going to mention anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on that note, I think love to you all. Yeah, man. Love to you. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, brother. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Take care. All the best. <laughs>